scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Let's lift our hands and bless His name. Let the name of the Lord. Jesus, let it be an exceptional time tonight. Hallelujah. It's my joy to be back home. I'm happy to be back home. And um, it's been a week full of great activities and happy seeing the hand of God and the mighty things that he's doing I want to challenge us just before we start our teaching tonight that we never get too familiar with the things that God is doing the training of the saints the equipping of the saints is something that we must all together submit ourselves to hallelujah there is power in being built there is power in being trained because as we are sharpened as we are trained then we become more aligned and we become more usable it's not enough to be available you must be usable being usable is a product of alignment and it's a product of training and so I appreciate every single one of us tonight and all those who are following us online, we love you. And I ask that the Lord will bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. I am ever conscious of the fact that as a man of God, every time God gives you access to people, um, the primary responsibility is to be able to supply enlightenment. If as a pastor or as whatever leader head of a church ministry organization you are not actively contributing to bringing enlightenment in people then you are wasting their time it's a total waste of time i don't care what else happens in that church if at the end of every service the people leave the way they came no growth no wisdom no access to power no enlightenment then uh, it's a total waste of time total waste of time 
Hallelujah. And by the grace of God, we thank God for investing so much of His grace upon our lives such that every time we come, we are guaranteed that we will rise from one dimension of knowledge to the other in the name of Jesus. I'm teaching on the Dominion Mandate, part one. The Dominion Mandate. I think this is very timely and it's very important that we come into this understanding. It's been a phrase that has been greatly used in the body of Christ. It's been largely abused um, because it's been used without understanding. Praise the Lord. And I'm trusting that God will grant us grace. Revelation chapter 5. We'll read 2 verses 9 and 10. Help us tonight, Holy Spirit. The dominion mandate. Revelation 5 verse 9 and 10. Are we there? It says, And they sung a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof. For thou wast slain and hast redeemed us unto God by thy blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation. We're going to read verse 10 together. One to read. And has made us unto our God kings and priests and we shall reign on the earth. One more time. And has made us unto our God kings and priests there are certain doctrines please listen just a little theological background there are certain doctrines that are considered foundational to the understanding of any believer when you get born again you don't just grow haphazardly you don't grow carelessly it matters the doctrines that are introduced to a believer at his encounter with Christ this will guide your growth the efficiency of your growth or otherwise are we together not every dimension of knowledge is needed at every time it is important that the informations that are supplied believers especially as they grow are strategic enough to be able to make their growth useful it's like building I always give this analogy after you lay a foundation the next thing is not a zinc is that true if you put a zinc you're going to destroy the building you can't say you have a house a zinc is part of the requirement but there will be a time for zinc so theologically speaking there are excuse me certain foundational truths um, and I believe that one of the reasons why believers are not very mature is because there is a haphazard communication of spiritual truths and realities it is my considered opinion and this is also theologically agreed that when believers come into Christ the first thing that they ought to know is to have a thorough understanding of what we know and believe to be the finished work of Jesus that is the very next foundational understanding there's no point teaching them about money there's no point teaching them about service in the ministry if they stumble across a service where that is being taught then that's all right but where you are training and building people there is a system so they must understand the the realities of redemption number two they must be open to the ministry of prayer any believer that gets born again must be open to the ministry of prayer that is the system with which their spiritual senses are activated if you do not give them an opportunity to be open to the ministry of prayer that activity will become very boring because they will become carnally minded are we together number three they must be open to the ministry of the Holy Spirit now technically speaking everything we deal with in the kingdom revolves around the ministry of the Holy Spirit but I mean they must be introduced consciously to the possibility of a relationship with a person called the Holy Spirit they must begin to train their spiritual senses to hear God to understand the word to interpret scripture 
that's the fourth thing they must be exposed to the ministry of the word the ministry of the word its power to transform their minds then several other things now become very useful when these basics are in place then when you come in with things like kingdom service when you now come in with things like the anointing when you come in with other aspects you know the deeper things of the spirit they have been able to have access to a solid foundation but the moment you get a believer born again and the next thing you are drumming them on principles of money financial reward breakthrough restoration as good as those things are they rape sorry to use that word but that is the best expression they rape that believer and put that believer in a very vulnerable position nothing that brings a sequence of growth will interest the believer again are we together now because the believer just wants to receive to sit down and learn i'm not interested or someone just gets born again and you are not exposing them to the prophetic and the gifts of the spirit it looks powerful until you watch them misuse it they will access the anointing and begin to walk in many things but lack of character will destroy it are we together now and sooner or later those people will tell you two months they will tell you they are called into ministry six months later they are already in trouble it's important that believers be guided i am persuaded that this should be the factors that should be examined even in appointing responsibilities in the body of christ paul taught us that one who is a bishop a pastor and that applies to anyone a deacon and ordained worker there should be some level of track record of staying in the house of god i'm just giving us a background this is the challenge with celebrities and the house of god celebrities those who were maybe in the world and were celebrity musicians celebrity businessmen when they come into the church they expect the same spotlight correct the same honor so you look at this guy and let's assume he was once a very worldly musician for instance are we together now and then he now gives his life to christ and in a bid to honor him you graduate him unnecessarily into realms and dimensions he has not afforded he sits down where the ministers are sitting you give him offering help and raise offering he stands on stage and you see him speaking babylon you know that this guy he has not he, he has not stabilized he's just barely entering the kingdom but you appreciate it because he has been a celebrity let me tell you whoever you are when you come in the kingdom you must start and join that line you see that yes honor be given to you for your for exposing your value to be rewarded but there must be that system of building i think this is a word from god to many people already all these hilarious ordinations hilarious laying on of hands hilarious appointment of people someone gets born again in two weeks he's ordained sent somewhere we must be careful it will lead to a lot of inefficiency children leading children babes the bible called them unfruitful in the handling of the word of god and so when challenges rise up for on account of the word's sake they do not sustain the spiritual stamina because they have no track record in the spirit they have not learned honor they have not learned authority they have not learned that there are seasons in believers lives where you have to stand they have not like people like watchman Nee would teach they have not learned to sit they have not learned to walk they have not learned to stand one brutal attack and their whole life is finished completely everything are we blessed this kingdom is built through a system and it is important please hear me the way you build matters are we together in construction we know there are there are structures that are built by careless architects and builders and you see that structure no stability is bent anyhow a little rain and half of it everything falls down right to the louvers and there are others that are that are solid 
like the buildings in Dubai meters high above the sky and they are they are with razor sharp precision they were built intentionally every house is built by some man but the bible says god is the builder he says and i will build my church the only thing that is built from the top is the grave never forget this that the only thing you start building from the top is the grave i just felt stirred in my spirit to put that because i want us to experience breakthrough i want us to love god and know god but there is nothing that will replace sitting down to learn sequentially to grow especially for those of us who probably got born again this year or we rededicated our lives and all of that and we thank god for the kind of grace in this house someone can be born again and in two weeks is already on fire and people see you and say pastor and then you now enlighten yourself from that flattery and say wow that means this is speed no men cannot see the heart except it is given to them hmm? men see the outward appearance so their interpretation is based on what they are seeing ah the last time this guy held a mic in one fellowship the way he prayed in tongues and then you use the construction of the tongues to mean he has graduated in the spirit is a joke the level of stamina it takes to be trusted with people is is a dimension that only god can approve very few people know the level of spiritual stamina it takes to host an anointing and to even lead people matter matter you are worried and offended about several things but it says one thing is needful hmm? god must work on you work on you that's why you see us keep teaching let me tell you there are people in this ministry by the grace of god and with all humility i can select people at random at random and not not to be cynical most of them would qualify to be resident pastors in many circles and many denominations but they are not even leaders god is saying sit down I'm ministering to someone because you look at everybody around you this one reverend this one started his church yesterday this one this and you you are not even even an esco in the department and you say is it that lord you are not seeing me huh do, do, are, are you trying to say i'm not making progress whoever told you appointment is proof of progress If the lifespan of your commitment in the house of God is to be seen and to be appointed into offices then it's a disaster so you see people fight like politics oh there is a vacancy that vacancy is a deacon and you see everybody coming to greet the pastor pastor good afternoon I just came to bless you and to let you know what is happening behind your back I've got you covered that's a manifesto that's 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 political party When Jesus was going to select people that he would train, the Bible says he spent the whole night. Jesus, the fountain of wisdom, knew to appoint men to trust them with responsibility is a serious thing. You judge by the eye and see Eliab and say, surely this is God's anointed and God said, uh-uh, that's not how I choose. Oh. Look at the kind of people Jesus fasted all through the night to choose. You fast through the night and choose weaklings, thieves, fearful people. Why fast? Do you have to fast to see them? He fasted and saw what they would become, as weak as they were. They were already scribes and Pharisees. Jumping and saying, look, just restructure our mindset and that's all. We have reduced the journey. And God looked at a tax collector, wicked man very stupid people and say this is exactly what i'm looking for saul is on his way to damascus and god is looking at him what an apostle killing people you see the way god sees bar let me teach you something if you don't learn this you will make too many mistakes in your leadership and your church 
there are people seated here inside and outside let me tell you the dimensions they are walking in the spirit probably even me have not entered those dimensions yet they come quietly you see them sit down they are watching they are learning reminds me of how many how students are the real person who is taking first position is somewhere he will write every note with the example and the person who is second to the last yeah i know that example it came from uh, that that uh, book I, I know this man i know the book he's reading yet he's taking second to the last at the end of the exam but the one who is diligent will come and sit down and listen never promote people emotionally give them a chance to have a track record with god give them a chance to have a track record with god don't love people too much to unnecessarily expose them to levels and do not flatter yourself into thinking i think i am fit for a level let god himself accredit you it says paul a man approved approved there are illegal people the same way there are jam centers there are authorized jam centers correct there are authorized hospitals there are authorized drugs and every authorized drug has a registration number we call it NAFTAC registration number correct whether the drugs are big or small now there are certain people who can connive with other nations and smuggle in drugs put the drugs and put camels on them do all kinds of things it does not make it legal the fact that it was successfully smuggled those drugs in themselves may not kill but they have not been vetted by the institute that was put called navdak that's how it is spiritually you can get up and move and yet you have not been approved let me tell you when people are approved on earth they are assigned thrones in heaven a throne is a symbol of authority those thrones are not just thrones like they are thrones that affirm anointings and mantles and graces that's why somebody can come no rema no revelation but there is a track record and a throne that backs their words they can speak they can stand on behalf of heaven and speak and plead your case and turn around something that has no business turning around and you wonder how are they doing it brothers and sisters i want you to preach to yourself i receive grace to stay until he accredits me i receive grace to stay can you turn it into a prayer in one minute i believe that is the spirit of god that just led me to communicate that i receive grace to stay pray oh the head of department prayer is not seeing me are the leaders not seeing me is this pastor femi not seeing me worship team are they not seeing me to give me songs no never lift yourself stay for when the season of appearing comes let me tell you no mortal man can stop you pray i receive grace shabrakato sadabala karyatash lembreketo kasubri atakatash brato sobrende gasho brakatosia pray pray Pray, pray, pray. Lord, let me be built to its finest. Let me be one of your finest battle axes on earth. Thoroughly furnished. Thoroughly furnished. Thoroughly furnished. Not half baked. Thoroughly furnished. Unto all good works. I receive the grace to stay. I receive the grace to learn. I receive the grace to be built. It may take time, but I stay. I receive grace. I receive grace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I will get to our, our teaching proper, but I'm just stressing this. Oh, God is calling you to be a kingdom financier and all of a sudden you are killing yourself trying to wear every cloth trying to buy every watch don't die for nothing
God is calling you to be a prophet and all of a sudden you are forcing yourself to see you are not seeing anything this thing is not trial and error keep working with God one day it will be like a joke you will wake up one morning into a portal a vista just opens up and say so this is what happens until then you force yourself you will see something and what you see will destroy your life destroy others you will bring all sorts of things because you are not trained i watch people and let me tell you this is with all humility i watch people and i see them not able to hold the sword of the spirit i see the disaster that they cause with those swords it takes a skill to hold that sword the bible says with wise counsel make war it, that you have a sword does not just mean you no 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 solomon held that sword in such a way that they could know which child you, you have to hold it well otherwise you will kill people when you are trained by god as a leader you will know when to talk and when to keep quiet they may expect you to speak but you have been so trained full of knowledge yet silent look at moses a man who was heavily anointed yet he never prophesied he kept quiet when the spirit on him came on 70 people none of them could stand yet all of that was in one man and he had self-control see a lot of childishness that goes on in the body of christ i'm preaching to someone some of those things look like the pathways for recognition you will never this honor let me tell you is a mantle it comes from heaven with a track record you can fake it and try to gather a lot of mediocres around your life but if there is no this this ranking you see increase it is god god left it to himself plant water you can increase yourself are we together men can look at your life and know you are growing preaching there are nine things i won't teach you today there are nine things that characterize the ministry of the world nine preaching or teaching what we call pulpit ministry is the eighth of the ninth eighth of it are we together so the ability to preach well is only one over nine nobody gets a with one over nine there are many other aspects are we together one of the requirements is to have the ability to be touched with the feelings of people's infirmity you must you must there are times god exposes you to things you have no business going through it has nothing to do with you that is the price you pay for carrying the anointing for the people it is the burden of the people he puts upon your spirit you must taste of it to qualify to minister to them yet there are all kinds of people moving around and will tell you i am this and that i am apostle this i am prophet this i am that and that and your name is emeka i say yes and then the man means that because you said it correctly he is a prophet and all kinds of blunders begin to come you break people's marriages destroy people's destiny because of imbalance all sorts of things i i am a kingdom millionaire i i don't take water in a, in a sachet again i have to use bottle because i'm going far my destiny is far and we do stupid things in the name of i believe in seeing well but faith is not foolishness now let me tell you the danger here is when you look around you you will see very few people subscribing to this pattern and it can intimidate you you are human there are times you sit and say lord but give me an opportunity to and god says you are about to derail you don't know the honor i'm bringing to your life you now want to destroy or run away from all this balloon success up today down tomorrow anointed today you crash tomorrow no god can give you consistency 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 the average ministry that is started in nigeria eight out of every ten close before the year is finished yet you see the convictions god told me i saw it so 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 our vision i saw this and that and in that vision we are going to the nations if you do not understand what i'm teaching you tonight your life will be a track record of blunders sincere encounters that will never manifest in the earth realm till you go to be with the lord 
I want to save you years of pain. Are you ready to pray now? Open my eyes. Lift your voice and pray. Open my eyes. Open my eyes. But thou, O oh Lord, had a shield for me. My glory, you're the lifter up of my head. But thou, O oh Lord, had a shield for me. My glory, the lifter up of my head. Pray. But thou, O oh Lord, had a shield for me. My glory, the lifter up of my head. hallelujah listen to me there were two brothers in the bible born of the same father we understand called cain and abel two of them went to sacrifice and they thought they were doing the same thing listen every time there is no response from heaven find out why because he said if you did it rightly i have no bias for you if you did it rightly there are dimensions i have not entered as a person I don't get responses from heaven it's a sign that there is a level of alignment i need to step into because benihin will come under the same condition and there will be a response from heaven there are there are things i now do and i get responses from heaven that i did not get a response yesterday use the response from heaven to prove it's a sign you've been doing everything around your life there is no corresponding response why continue to flatter yourself i'm not doubting that you are a prophet but i'm saying sit down you carry what you call prophecy you will never go to the nations that way he cannot commit the heart of kings to you oh i'm a pastor call me pastor don't call me brother i'm not a brother i'm a pastor settle down the bible said they shall call you ministers of our god it's not a name you invent for yourself it's an inevitable product of a track record there are many of us already fighting superiors in different ministries they are not allowing men see me if you ever think that way it's a stupid thought from antichrist it's from the devil the bible says neither do men light a lamp and put it under a bushel are we together i just feel we should pray one more prayer again say lord i will wait until that grace comes i will wait until I step into the fullness of the grace and the ministry. Lift your voice and pray. Lord, I will pray. I will wait. I am proud of where I am. My contemporaries may go ahead of me, but I'm not in a rush. I'm not in a rush. There is a making. There is a making. Lakata praka sodo bakariana balaka. Been tried as gold. Been tried as gold. The gold of offering. The finest of them. Lekata praska da balada kasha da preska da balaka sula. How is it grace? Grace. Grace. Swallow your pride tonight. Come to the school of the spirit. Don't you know in his hands are the keys to eternal life? Hey, a little bit. A little bit soon your day will come. Stop working you, changing everything. Will you swallow your pride tonight? Come to the school of the spirit. Don't 
that you know In his hands are the keys to eternal life It's a little yeah, a little yeah Soon your day will dawn inside work in you Stop crying around and looking for invitation. Invite me. I can sing. Pastor, invite me to your church. I promise you won't be disappointed. No. No. Stay in the secret place. Let everyone go. Remain there. He will sharpen you. Mm. Sharpen you. Then when you come out, you will be like the gold of offer. The finest of it. Finest of it. No guessing. Listen. You see, I had a vision day before yesterday when Ife, the great land of Ife, and I had a vision. And in that vision, I saw certain things about my future. And I saw dimensions of grace and the anointing that made what I was walking now like child's play. After that vision, I just laid down. I said, Lord, thank you. This is the exact motivation I need. Because you see, when men clap for you, you need to see something far that will make where you are walking now look like shadows i said that's right that's right it is dangerous to have a measure of result the enemy of success is the last one not failure because it can keep you i can prophesy too it's a little but at least i'm there i can minister too i lay hands out of 10 people at least somebody must be healed and you want to be given the keys of nations which somebody must be healed one out of ten is a joke that there is a dimension you enter into that you show up in a place and brothers and sisters is is like is like a charm you move and shift things around this is the bible says herein is our father glorified when you bear much food you can bear little 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 result because the act head is blunt i look at lives today with the privilege of the grace god has given me and i'm almost crying because i wish i had this anointing years ago i saw people in situations i wanted to help them but i had not accessed the level of grace it took and i look at people now and as great as god has helped me i see dimensions where i need to reach out to people but i see that i'm still bankrupt of those dimensions what have you done that you are beginning to boast i have sons these are my sons these are my daughters where where don't let that pride kill you just because someone acknowledge you and just call you daddy or call you mommy or call you papa it's just their way of honoring your mentorship you are now carried away this is my son son stand up this is my daughter and god is watching you and say leave him there leave him there fast because this guy will be a disaster when he rises you are watched for a season then a thousand cubits is measured again and you step into another level listen this anointing you see the body that carries it must be prepared otherwise it can kill you by itself i'm not talking of demons the anointing is like a sharp knife you use it wrongly to tear you and kill you the very owner elisha died but there was an anointing on his boat 
don't think the anointing is just something that comes there is mastery it's like standing on slippery ground if you don't know how business is done in deep waters you will slaughter yourself with the anointing because you see when the anointing comes you must understand things in the spirit there are certain things that God can pardon others but you won't go free because of the level of grace you have carried swallow your pride tonight come to the school of the spirit don't you know in his hands is the key to eternal life it's a little here a little there soon your day will dawn start working you changing everything yeah. hallelujah I've had the privilege of receiving so many awards many of you never know I've not announced one to you several awards you will never see one on my table I don't trust those things I thank God for them but I don't believe them you see if you if 10 of you write a test ah huh, over 100 and you get 12 over 100 and you are the highest you can get prize for first position but did you pass so you have to you don't just say i'm the one leading this thing how far with respect to god's expectation we are talking of dimensions of graces and anointings that have not been seen we are talking of ancient portals opened up hosting god like gods on the earth we are talking of dimensions where miracles are worked unconsciously not all this jamboree and talking and jacking we are talking of putting nations under the feet of Jesus stopping the sun to rise over nations until Jesus becomes Lord Joshua did it when you get satisfied with little results oh she got healed Oh, I prayed for the woman. She got pregnant. Oh, I prayed for that dead baby. He came back to life. You have pegged yourself and you will never rise far. Am I wasting your time? If this is all we do today, can we just pray in the spirit for one or two minutes as an indication of our interest to continue? Lord, I'm not leaving your presence. Not at this time. Thank you for what you have done, but Lord, there is more. Thank you for the miracles, but there are higher levels of fire. There are higher levels of power. There are higher dimensions, rankings in the spirit. Pray, pray. You are a prophet, but there are deeper levels. Come on now. There are levels of the prophetic where you create realities. You are an apostle, no doubt, but there are levels of the apostolic where you are giving the keys of David that can shut doors and no one will open.
say holy, holy, holy. Hey, hey, hey. Hallelujah. Listen, let me tell you the kind of training and the kind of weapon. Do you know North Korea has weapons? We've not seen the potentials yet. They have been building it. Nobody is scared of what he already understands the potentials. No, we've seen the bombs. We've seen the ballistic missiles. America has weapons that nobody in the world has seen. He said, thou art my battle axe. My weapons of war with you I will beat down nations. He didn't say you have it. You are it. Thou art my battle axe. Listen, as darkness looms around the horizons of our family and cities brothers and sisters it will take more than good preaching it will take more than good greek and hebrew words it will take men and women who will shut down the heavens over darkness just by entering cities not by poster all of a sudden divination cannot work why because an individual aligned enough to host that level of god prophetically you have all of God but experientially he must be formed in you bit by bit bit by bit you can define your limit in the spirit but I'm challenging someone the destiny is waiting for you cannot be changed the way you are I know you have tried but at the level you give prophecy no nation will be blessed your prophecy has not left individuals to nations there is still room for building This is a, a shake up and a wake up. There are still people in our families. As anointed as we are, darkness is still looming around them. That's a sign that you are not refined enough. Are we together? You are doing well as a pastor, but you know there is still witchcraft in your family. You even acknowledge it. So what is wrong with that light? There is a way that light can be so bright. You will catch a revelation that will make you travel home. You say i'm here just for one day shut the door everybody shut the door i found something no shut the door you shut the door and in two hours people drive to your house saying i'm sorry it's me that tied everybody down it's, it's not my fault and it, hold on I, I i will you crush the gates of hell into pieces listen when john g lake was alive he made Spokane the healthiest city in the whole world. Are we together? E.W. Kenyon, no man died less than 70 within his environment. Where have we gone to that we are making so much noise? Shouting, shouting, all sorts, I am this, I have sons, five sons, international ministry. I went to Ghana, I went to London, sit down. say call one quality of champions is they are never satisfied with where they are others are clapping for you if you join them to clap for yourself you are not wise let them do the clapping while you do the moving you continue to move lord i thank you for this dimension and this grace but then open more frontiers open more frontiers and all of a sudden a time will come they will say you are zeus or hermes they say this person pastor alpha is not a normal human being again what dimension is this what level of grace and unction is this i look at my life today people send me text messages all the time appreciating the grace of god and this is what most of them say thank you for paying the price whenever i get those things they really touch me do you know why because they make me know that if i continue see if you want to host this grace you better find a way of letting pain know that you are not giving up because of it this pain factor that has robbed us this pain factor this pain factor is too painful the training is too much you will never 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 enter the anointing that way pray in the night you are complaining one hour you are grumbling forget about power god is not a herbalist forget about power 
30 minutes of praying in the spirit and you are talking no you can't carry power that way it takes a level of stamina 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 that defies the gates of darkness you must defy pain you must defy excessive food this eating like a fool that destroys people you are on a mission going somewhere if you cannot tame your stomach you can't tame any demon eat anything anyhow i'm a human being man must work look at that kind of thinking sleep if you don't conquer sleep you will never host this anointing this slumber and sluggishness and laziness you stand to pray 10 minutes you are snoring and sleeping you can gist and gossip for one day but to stand to do spiritual things and then the time for the word of god you open this bible you are yawning you better cast that devil it's a spirit you open the bible you are yawning cast it fast your life is under attack don't ever say it's all right i'm just tired listen men are not anointed by luck there is a price I'm, I'm showing you a bit of my private life a bit of the price you see that that's the reason why when people go through this you talk about them even in the secret God punishes you in the open they have they have established an altar through the blood that comes out of them blood is a sacrifice hallelujah something came on me for you tonight. please let's not play games with this thing if you are in it go for it go for it fast for it pray for it study for it sit down for it sit down for it don't rush anything I assure you one step in his approval will cover the grounds of 20 years there's nothing called wasted time with him please sit down you need to advise yourself tonight myself sit down myself sit down myself sit down myself sit ah you are papa thank god myself sit down you are mama you are deaconess you are prophetess you are apostle you are this myself sit down then you will command levels of power and you will stand and watch what God is doing to you and you will say my God what is this please be seated in Jesus name if I had my way we would just pray till the service is finished because when the water is the Bible says you strike while the iron is hot as it's hot like this you strike it let everything that is not God fly out of that 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 making let's touch on something tonight But this message is really a message that struck hard i believe there are specific people this word is for god is asking you to wake up and eli is asking you to go back to sleep you have to choose who to believe oh at your level you are anointed too much you know people send me all kinds of things an apostle of uncommon grace and power I thank God for it but I just look at the text and I laugh do you know what uncommon grace and power is all these programs listen let me give you a frank advice program one program here one event here one crusade here one conference here you won't grow that way a, a conference is not you won't grow that way many of us are obsessed passionate you have a church of two members there are 10 crusades 10 conferences in one year what are you doing be honest with yourself 
nobody grows that way you sit down and you are sharpened and filed you know how a razor blade is when you buy a new razor blade you touch it on a paper that's how it goes that's what God is saying you see God lifting all these our people now worship team gradually gradually when, when they all come to me I tell them go and sit down because I'm the one supervising the sharpening by the spirit you can feel sharp because you cut wood but what you are going to be cutting are metals not woods metals metals there are machines that ride through metals there are machines that cut stones do you know the, the, the strength of those materials you cut through those brah, just cut everything there are others where you subject them through certain kinds of woods they will hook and the machine will stop turning that's nonsense and inferior product it's a sign that that was not a good product but when you buy it you buy something it will cut through rocks and pieces them that's what God is telling me to. by the time you stand in all the millions you are looking for you will be so valuable oh I, at my age I think I should have built a house don't worry just stay somebody will bring a car key bring a house key bring all kinds of things and give you be careful unhealthy comparison will destroy you we live in a world that is very carnal I teach you success principles we just finished success systems but be careful unhealthy comparison at my age I am 40 at my age I'm supposed to have five cars and three bungalows okay sorry you don't have it now so what are you going to do about it I, I don't know but God must answer me in this season and the entire circumference of your pursuit is cars and houses you are in trouble though. you are in trouble you are in big trouble learn to know when your life is under attack it's not when you see a spirit appearing there are things around your life that are pointers immediately there are suggestions suggestions that come to your spirit nonsense suggestions unhealthy comparison look at that other pastor he's not as anointed as me that's an attack cast it immediately hallelujah the dominion mandate let's see how far God will help us in Genesis chapter 1 verse 26 we're looking at part 1 in Genesis chapter 1 verse 26 man as we know theologically speaking is the apex of god's creation and when god i think uh, media just take this part of this teaching and make a podcast out of it huh this this fiery how many minutes we spent make a podcast out of it just carry it like a little tool of revival keep it in your phone whenever you sense you are backsliding just use it plug it and sleep while you are sleeping you will see me yeah it's not pride i will help you and stamp every nonsense yes god doesn't show people people's faces just because they are anointed it's a mystery I've said it many people would think it's witchcraft if you see me in your dream wake up and rejoice something serious happened to you hallelujah you must have the arsenals when you are discouraged what do you have in your spiritual arsenal is there a message is there a tool I tell you woe to that person who has not programmed you don't prepare for battle at the war front you station them there are tools whenever I feel that I'm losing spiritual favor there are tools already ah, there are tools there are tools there are tools God gave me tools tools whenever you feel you are lazy that fasting grace is not there I tell you one correct message listen to it in the night where all the noise has gone off the light sit down quiet and you finish that thing you start the fasting the next day I tell you I tell you and your stomach cries you say you are joking not based on not based on what I had 
you found out you are not reading books again you keep buying them but you don't read so people keep seeing them and think you are reading them and then one day you listen to one message the word is always God's bailout system if you exempt yourself from the word you are already in trouble there should be a word for seasons in your life there are times honestly you are discouraged you need a word that lifts you everybody will not have your time you must learn to have your own time get the word and sit down share messages that build you and all of a sudden your faith rises hallelujah I feel like praying no oh, this thing is on me I feel like I wish I were alone. I feel like praying. Let me tell you how what to do. Whenever your spirit is stirred, don't go to bed. Pray immediately. Make sure you can sleep praying, but don't waste it. There are times this kind of things happen to you alone. You are listening to a message every time. Every time because the moment you feel it is like a spiritual feeling station. Something is happening. Prayer is like opening the tank. You see that? You open the tank. Oh God, fill me. Let that anointing come. Let that fire come. And then it comes upon your spirit. These are simple spiritual techniques that keep people strong. Some of you, after hearing this now, you now relax back to carnality. You see that? Carnality doesn't mean something evil. You just come down to the... This is what it means to be in the spirit. Your spirit is alive. Ready to receive like a womb like a woman's womb ready to receive seed see that everything that comes from heaven bam, like a woman takes in you take in something and immediately and the realm of the spirit doesn't work with nine months you can take in immediately and certain things happen and you will birth it out immediately hallelujah the spirit of a prophet is subject to the prophet Genesis 1 verse 26 and God said let us make man in number one our image everybody say image number two after our likeness and then he says let them always oh, projected have dominion please stop the Bible says let us make man in two using two dimensions the first is our image now until adam we know that already that there were already inhabitants upon the earth right other dispensations carried different kinds and types of humanoid species adam is not the first man are we together the first man who opened up our dispensation but there have been other humanoid species again and again upon the earth are we together now who had bodies bodies that were spiritual bodies that were not mortal bodies that were made out of different substances there were dispensations where the men that lived in those dispensations had bodies that were made of light quantized light there were dispensations where men had bodies that were made of other substances not earthly and not God's own kind of body they were heavenly body as we call it but then there was a grading of them according to different di dimensions are we together now but then when it came to the making of man listen all other species were made in the likeness of god but never in his image the image of god was what lucifer wanted lucifer was already in the likeness of god the likeness of god means god has two hands the bible doesn't tell us he has um the seven eyes and seven horns are just prophecies are we together now god has two legs he stands on one head there are creatures all kinds of things but i'm saying god as a person when jesus came the bible called him the full expression of the image of the christ so we see him carrying that form all other humanoid species were in the likeness of man of god but man was in the image the image of god is a spiritual quality right the the imprint of his person the very factor that makes God God is where you get the root word kabod, glory. The essence of God was vested in his image. Image. 
so man was made this time around not just in the likeness of God but the image of God and then God told us straight up the purpose for making that man watch this he never said let them be preachers he never said let them be apostles please listen he never said let them be pastors he didn't say let them conduct koinonia are we together the mandate was let them have dominion write that word down dominion dominion is a language of governance it's a political language a language of governance dominion is a language of legislature legislature has to do with enacting or enforcing laws enacting birthing them or enforcing the ones that have already been passed dominion means to take charge take charge of a territory dominion means to take charge dominion talks of stewardship please write it down so let them take charge let them legislate let them govern let them have stewardship this is god's original idea a great mentor dr miles Munro, will tell you that's god's original idea now watch this in theology there's what we call the law of first use right the law of first use means that whenever you want to study the context of a word the first key is to go and find where it was first used the context upon which it was used is the anchor with which you will use to interpret every other appearance of it are we together if it veers off from the first context then you must use another strategy of interpreting it are we together now so the first time we see the word dominion it was attached to man the first time we see god making man he didn't sit down and rest later on and then he woke up and said man i don't know what to do with you okay let's try dominion have it and see he says let them have dominion dominion stewardship control redemption as we know was a veering off of the original plan please understand this everything from genesis 4 listen carefully everything from genesis 4 down up until acts chapter 1 was an extra curriculum added to it the original agenda of god had to do with dominion that's why i read for you revelations and genesis everything that is in between came as a remedy system are we together please you have to understand this god's original idea was not to have the fivefold ministry god's original idea was not to have churches uh -uh. god's original idea is not to have crusades god's original idea was not to have altar calls god's original idea was not to have healing services all of those things were predicated upon something that happened we call it the fall of man man's use of his will to defy god's will in rebellion led to other provisions so everything from genesis chapter 4 the law and and the annals of the kings and everything that happened down they were of course there were adumbrations but immediately from that time it was a system to be able to get man to qualify back to carry out the dominion mandate listen the dominion mandate was and is still god's desire and intent for man now many believers do not know this we come around church activities which is good we come around spiritual growth which is good we even come around going to heaven which is not a bad idea the bible says it so we believe it but much more than going to heaven are we together now much more than all of these things oh i'm looking forward to my jesus coming someday the bible says to look forward to his appearance however god's original idea for you was not heaven 
God's original idea for you was earth. It is still earth. It will always be earth. His plans can change, but his purposes are eternal. Are we learning something? So imagine for instance, um, can I use you? Come. My goal for this gentleman, everybody watch this. My goal for this gentleman is to go and carry that water. You see that water? That's what I want to carry. So at the beginning of the journey, I have stated the end from the beginning because that's the character of God. He reveals the end from the beginning. Then you start leaving that script. Now, this guy starting his journey, something happens. Are we together? Let's assume that he injures himself through whatever it is. Now, I temporarily suspend I suspend this agenda of him getting there to treat something that went wrong with him. Are we together? That is everything that came from the law until Jesus. It was a fearing off of the original manuscript to be able to bring man back to the position. Now, when you come back to that position and it so happens that this time around it must be in Christ. Listen. So when you now come back to that position, you are supposed to continue that agenda. But when you get distracted and you now forget about the agenda and you are doing other things, the one who sent you will never have fulfillment and satisfaction. Are we together? The Bible says better is the end of a matter than the beginning thereof. Thank you. So there are many people doing several things. Just, just calm down with this for a moment. I want everybody to hear me. Everybody say marriage. marriage. Shout it. Marriage. Say employment. employment. Shout it. Employment. Say promotion. promotion. Say houses. houses. Say cars. 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 Say long life. Long life. Divine, health. Divine health. Bungalow. Bungalow. Just say everything I say. Duplex. Duplex. Jeep. Prosperity. Prosperity. Hold on. All those things are requirements that help us back so that we can continue this agenda. In themselves, they are useless as far as God's eternal counsel is concerned. Their usefulness only comes in in how they help you align to fulfill this. Are we together? So marriage on its own is useless to you if it cannot find a bearing to this. Car, jeep on its own is useless to you until it finds a bearing. Let me tell you, one of the most useless ways of living on earth is not to have the dominion mandate at work in your life is not to have the consciousness of God's kingdom agenda yet you are achieving things so at the end of it like the rich fool you gather money oh I made wise financial decisions and God looks at you have you read in the Bible that our works will be tried with fire what do you think will be the basis that means there are people that you will see like a heap and fire will pass <laughs> And at the end of it, what will be there will not be up to my hand. They will be gauged with respect to their nearness to this agenda. Stewardship of earth. Kingdom advancement, we call it. Please, you must understand this. If you don't understand this, you will never be an effective Christian. We have been so distracted. We have veered off this. Prosperity teaching without a kingdom understanding will lead people to carnality and useless living are we together teaching people to wear nice clothes wear these and people claim cars and claim all of this all those things are only useful to the degree to which so we have a church that is full of largely carnal and lost driven people not because the object of their desire is wrong in itself but it has no kingdom bearing are we together so someone looks at a jeep just pass and say hey i claim it and god says okay with respect to what i say god just leave me i claim it i shall claim it 
there are ways you can know immature believers and there are ways you can know that they have not been trained well let me tell you how to measure growth in the spirit when a man's life has been aligned to the purposes of the kingdom and everything that proceeds from him with respect to his desires are only there to create a platform for this dominion mandate that person is a mature believer are we together if I ask you what are your concerns now many of us will lift our hands and say money money sir direct money just money naira like that pounds dollars money another person will say child child this my womb must carry a child you ask the person why are you so desperate for a child you know what the person is going to say largely all the people who married uh, uh, what, around my my time have children some have two some have five some have ten i'm alone and that's the reason why the person wants a child are we together ask someone why are you going to school say are you joking you want me to be hungry abby okay if you are full what is it for say, well i'm for everybody it's like that i need to get a good job then another person says i'm not getting a good job i'm a businessman because he went to one seminar both of them are useless as far as the kingdom is concerned if you cannot state bringing your strong reason let me tell you a chip you've heard me preach this again and again the dominion mandate remains god's desire and anybody who plunges into that agenda has commanded both the hand and the heart of god both the hand and the heart of god supplies don't just follow your needs they follow your pursuit of the dominion mandate prosperity long life healing all of these things pursue you when you pursue this jesus said it this way 633 matthew but seek first the kingdom kingdom he didn't say seek first heaven the kingdom is not heaven seek first the kingdom and his righteousness and then he says in doing so all other things shall be added unto you. Are we together? It is God's desire that we reign in life. And look at me. The concept of reigning in life has nothing to do with usurping authority over people. Please give us Genesis 1.26 again. God meticulously listed everything he wanted us to have dominion over. Let's look at it, please. 1.26. Let's hurry up. Genesis 1 26 and God said let us make man in our image and after our likeness and let them have dominion read on now over what the fish of the sea over the fowl of the air over the cattle over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth notice that man was not mentioned the dominion mandate is not usurping authority and control over men when you do that it's called witchcraft it's called manipulation it's an attitude of the antichrist every government that oppressed people had a revolt historically at a point in time the people were angry you know why there's chaos and anarchy because people were not designed to be dominated they were designed to be led they were not designed to be ruled when in bible days when god wanted to punish either his people or your enemies he gave you authority to treat them like animals so he would cause them to become slaves he would cause them to become servants he would cause them to serve you not like a man serving somebody he loves subject them to slavery slavery had always been a way of god communicating his dissatisfaction either with his people or people who made themselves his enemies listen the moment you find out an appetite to rule over men i don't mean lead men rule over men is the spirit of the antichrist there is a programming that has come from babylon that is at work in your life unfortunately this system that we live in has designed people to live that way right from primary school 
they clap for you and give you award for taking first now the idea is not whether you did well or not the idea is that you beat other people so they clap for you in their presence now their humiliation becomes your trophy are we together as you hold that award and look at your closest rival and smile in victory and watch the pain of the person you see footballers when they win arsenal man you the ones who win flaunt the cup and you see the other people crying and that cry is the joy and the triumph of the people is an antichrist system now of course we use it all the time some of you have schools use it the lord help you but i'm we're examining the word it's not supposed to be that way so now you find out that students from primary school secondary school their agenda is not to do well their agenda is to beat others they clap for you with respect to how you trample others that's why malpractice comes in it's an effort to force your way to the top whether you are ready or not so you manipulate ways they even name generators i pass my you see where those revelations came from they look very subtle but they are devilish understandings sponsored by babylon what is your neighbor's um, 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 what is the issue with your neighbor and your life no i pass my neighbor so you now compare yourself on healthy competition every time men try to usurp authority over men it's now going to be survival of the fittest whoever can oppress someone are we together but god's idea is to lead men not oppress them in fact they asked jesus this question who will be the greatest you see the disciples greatest greatest not who will be great who will be the greatest the chiefest of all and jesus looked at them and then he said the the pharisees and all of this use that method of leadership he said but it should not be among you whoever wants to be great must be your minister your servant that the way up is to serve people not truncate them this is a good message for a pastor's conference because we live in a time where men of god in the name of spiritual authority i believe in authority have pocketed the destinies of other people some of you here are victims of this and you need deliverance fast where a man of god takes your destiny and puts it in his pocket he may be well-meaning but he or she was also indoctrinated into that understanding and they make it look like you leave me you die if i ask for money you don't ask questions if i come to your house and say rice you say yes sir beans yes sir everything yes sir and they use scripture and threaten people it is antichrist the moment you find out that you are forcing people to respond to you outside of their will you are subscribing to another system it is not of god what of workers in the house of god you you must be a worker what of partners you promise this is your suit you are going to start sewing fifty thousand. and the guy says how about mm, I'm, I'm your boss in office i know how much i'm paying you fifty thousand that thing looks nice it is not god's way hello i know you don't like what i'm saying we're teaching on the dominion mandate many of the chaos and the anarchy that we have around our society that passion to oppress people that passion to leave people bankrupt of information because knowledge gives light is that true that's why many times they do not want people to be educated because when they are enlightened they can know their rights and they can stand up so they keep people in ignorance there are systems and nations that the strength of that oppression is hinged upon the lack of orientation of the people then we have carved out a name we call them masses masses and then all kinds of sociologists began to come up with their their postulations to call religion the opium of the masses people like Karl Marx and the rest came up with all kinds of things it was smart you are a sociologist answer it but oh, that is junk I'm sure wherever he is now he has known the truth listen let me tell you you see the Holy Spirit is the oldest authorized spiritual entity on earth today he's worth your trust are we together everything started in his presence till now hmm. 
The dominion mandate is not about usurping authority over people. Listen, the dominion mandate is not about outshining people. The dominion mandate is not outshining pastors, outshining men of God. I have larger crowds than you. That means we are taking over. The concept of take over must be well defined because for many people, take over means to come and push you. You had a small church. We came and within one year, we are the ones in Zaria. We are taking over. We have to be careful because most of what we call kingdom advancement is not only sheep stealing, it's sheep killing, sheep destruction, and so on and so forth. Let me clarify for us what the dominion mandate is. It has nothing to do with outshining people. It has nothing to do with competition. No. It has everything to do with the governance of the earth. It has everything to do with the stewardship of God's system. To the end that the fullness of his glory, kabod, his essence, his lifestyle would find expression in the earth. John, uh, Matthew chapter 6, we'll read from verse um, 9 and 10. Jesus is teaching us how to pray. And then he tries to instill in us a dominion and kingdom paradigm. And he says, give us Matthew chapter Yes, it says, after this manner, therefore pray. Our Father which art in heaven, we hallow or we revere your name. Then verse 10 says, thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. Your agenda, that domain you have carved out for us. We want your influence. The word kingdom is a combination of two words. A king's domain, dominion, the fair where the dominion of a king finds expression kingdom are we together now so god's prayer for us is that we pray that on this side of his kingdom that the reality of our stewardship the reality of the purposes of god be established across the earth the same way it is done in heaven it has nothing to do with ministry it has nothing to do with usurping men. Ministry, prosperity are only tools to help us. Say prosperity is only a tool. Divine health is only a tool. So you see, when you have these things, the dominion mandate consumes you. They will never steal away God from your life. That was the mistake of the rich fool. He thought life was only about making money. When he now made money and built bands, he secured himself. Hear what he told himself. My soul find rest. In other words, I have come to the end of my pursuit. Nothing else to be done. And God says, no. This is a rich fool. Tonight, because you are useless as far as my agenda is concerned. Tonight, this night, your soul is required of you. What is the key to carrying out the dominion mandate? The next teachings, I'm going to be teaching us the different dimensions of the dominion mandate. But what is the key? The key is in Romans chapter 5 and verse 17. Another scripture that has not been properly understood by many. Romans chapter 5 verse 17. Let's see where God will help us tonight. It says, for if by one man's offense, that one man now... Um, death reigned by one adam the first adam right adam the husband of eve for if by one man's offense death reigned by one much more listen they that receive two things what's number one abundance of take note of that number two and of the gift of righteousness these are the two requirements to be able to execute the dominion mandate effectively number one the gift of righteousness the bible did not put them in the order they should come it just gave you information the first thing you need to be able to carry out the dominion mandate effectively that mandate of exercising god's sovereign control on earth is the ability to be a possessor of what the Bible calls the gift of righteousness. Then number two, abundance, abundance of grace. The Bible says whoever is a possessor of these two realities, 
can reign effectively in the earth reigning in the earth is not just you see dominion there are different aspects of dominion i'll be teaching us in other series there are dimensions of dominion authority and the ability to legislate is only one of the dimensions that's not all there is to dominion creativity you see that authority has to do with legislature through your words through decrees creativity has to do with legislature influence through your seeds through your ideas right there are many dimensions i'll be teaching you so executing authority the capacity to speak and have things happen is only one of the dimensions of dominion unfortunately many people come around there and they feel because i speak and some things happen i'm walking in dominion you'll be very blessed by this series it will help you to reset what you call christianity so that you will arrange things accordingly and know what your ultimate pursuit should be because there's confusion in the body of christ for many like we always teach and well-meaning and innocently the goal is heaven and that's not a lie but the bible never teaches going to heaven as the end of all things it's not in the bible i'm a christian are we together i believe in heaven but that's that's not it you read your bible the bible talks about this old earth and the whole heavens passing away a new earth coming and god living where he is i told you heaven listen heaven was never initially god's throne there is there was a day that there was no heaven yet god was alive and was existing the bible says he dwells in unapproachable light he created heaven and put his throne there and that's why he said heaven is your throne and the earth is your footstool he is going to move that throne now to the earth so god did not used to live in heaven no he created heaven for reasons that we are going to find out the bible as we know has not revealed to us clearly these are some of the hidden mysteries that eating of the tree of life will supply us when we get to the new jerusalem that's why our knowledge will still be unfolding are we together now we are going to find out because there certainly was a reason why the heavens and the earth were created genesis 1 verse 1 they were not just created just because of adam uh -uh. they were fixed back because of adam god's original idea listen carefully with respect to making heavens in the beginning and the earth what we even call the dominion mandate given to our dispensation is a subset of that ultimate agenda we will find out revelation ends with the beginning of a new dispensation are you blessed That means there are many things we are going to find out. Let me give you a few information. <laughs> Should I say this? Hmm. Some of the spirit beings that we generically call angels were once inhabitants in the earth. They had their dispensation. Are we together? And the same way we have what we call judgment day and rapture. A similitude of that event happened to them. They now are still excelling in light growing and they have been authorized together with the angels to come and serve the saints and help us complete this dispensation angels are not the only spirit beings in the realm of the spirit anytime you see any other thing that is not god and it's not the four living creatures we just say they are angels in a sense we are right the word is angelio a messenger they are always sent ones from the throne but in terms of classification and configuration no angels are not the only spirit beings that are sent on errand read your bible mount zion there are many inhabitants there there are spirits of just men made perfect correct there are innumerable company of angels there are all kinds of things that happen there in that atmosphere of mount zion am i boring you are you learning something when we know this you see even the things we call rema are only relative because they are not strange to the realm of the spirit they are only coming to us newly demons know some of these things i tell you theologically speaking you see 
when this spirit came you you know the bible talks about those we call the nephilims and other kinds of giants who the bible says were a product of these spirit beings the bible calls them sons of god is that true sons of god who slept with the daughters of men and gave birth to people who were half men and half spirit entities like oak the king of bashan goliath of god and many other people who appeared we see that they were superhuman some of them had six fingers six toes it was some of this interaction with these spirit beings that also taught women what we call the mystery of seduction all of these things were part of the doctrines is what paul together calls the doctrines of demons are we together now it was some of the propositions that these spirit beings brought to the daughters of men that made them to like them and even allow them to have children with them that's that's another separate lecture again but just for you to know and to understand that a lot has happened in this earth and if we do not stay fixed upon what authorized our being here we will live very useless lives as a church and as individuals say amen this teaching will give meaning to your prosperity this teaching will give meaning to your fasting and prayer. Do you know why many people get born again and stop there? Have you seen people that when you tell them, oh, I'm praying, I'm on a program, I'm on a this and that, they look at you and say, "What? Well, that's a waste because they do not understand this. So for them, the entire scope of their theology is escapism from hell. And then you stand and continue to manage your life through repeated repentance until rapture comes. The day you hear that trumpet, do anything you want, you are safe. You see the theology? That's a torturous and frustrating theology. Jesus said, occupy till I come. The word occupy does not mean build houses. Advance with those influence until I come. There's something we are missing. That's why our young ones are not interested in God again. Because our marketing of what we give them as Christianity is ugly and unattractive. So you see a young child of 12 years and now put stringent rules around that child. And then you tell the child, be born again. Then the child is born again and say, okay, daddy, what next? He say, are you asking me? Let's go to church. And he says, daddy, I'm going to church every Sunday. Now you say, I should add Wednesday. He say, oh, yeah, join baptismal class. I see that you are too idle. Then the guy joins a baptismal class. Then they teach him the doctrines of the denomination. Then the day for water baptism comes. They baptize him, give him a, an English name, and hand over a certificate. And then the child says, okay, what do I do again? He says, just continue coming to church. And he said, no, no, no. Let me, what is all this? I cannot just continue coming to church. Daddy, I think I have grace to dance. If I see you dancing in my house, I will kill you by myself. My child, dance? Okay, daddy, I have the grace to paint. Paint for what? Serve God. So they have taught you, painting and serving God are not the same. And you leave painting. And you leave this. Daddy, I think I have a passion about broken marriages. Don't be stupid. Concentrate and grow spiritually. Jesus is coming very soon. Now, that's a very innocent doctrine. Don't get me wrong. I'm not being sarcastic. But that thing, many of you seated looking at me now, is one of the reasons why you left the things of God. Because you couldn't under... There was no logic to it. Someone comes from being a Muslim and then becomes a child of God, maybe a Christian and all of that, and you sit the person down and the person now says, okay, I have escaped this. I'm a child of God. Say, so what do I do now? Become a worker in church. Then the person is a worker in church and then one day the person says, honestly, I don't know what, what is going on here. What is the meaning of this? Where are we going? Just say, don't worry, oh, this thing, there's a reward. And the person is saying, I don't understand. Then others have said no god could not keep us like this let's add flavor to it then they swung to the other side of the pendulum and the church has become a place of just fun and laughter and say let's just enjoy ourselves and they say we are occupying you are not occupying that's laziness and idleness are we together so we have all just fun and play around play and play and joke and take the church of God to become like a museum or an amusement park no both are wrong let me tell you when you know the dominion mandate you will be so busy you will not even you will think age is not on your side you see people wake up in the morning with a sense of urgency they, they are, the issue of heaven is settled see let me tell you 
Um, we are going, I hope that one of these series will look at redemption. And I'm going to be showing you that the issue of heaven is not, is not supposed to be a frightful thing. Are we together? The issue of heaven is like an admission letter into a university. When you have an admission letter, it is possible to lose the admission letter. But you cannot be in 200 level and all you are thinking about is your admission letter. No. You have lectures. Is that true? You are looking at something else. Imagine a student in 300 level and he's moving. Where's my admission letter? And he opens the box and sees it and keeps it. And says, ah, thank you, Jesus. That's what we do with this rapture heaven thing. I'm not against it. You know me. I love people. I love souls. But having that kind of mindset will never help you to be effective. That's why we don't treasure creativity. That's why we don't treasure dominion. Why? Because we think the most important thing is let me just be careful. God can come any day and any time. Let him just come and find me. You're, you're being fit. Going to heaven. Listen. Going to heaven has never been something that a man did for himself by qualification. You have to understand this. The part where you get that you merit is the reward of crowns. Is based on your works. Utilizing the grace that was supplied for you and the degree to which you advance the kingdom to it, with it will determine your rewards. We will not get the same rewards. When a child is born, we say he came from where? Please help me. <laughs> now that child is now afraid to go back. Uh, okay, let me not, let's, let's not talk about this thing. I don't want to make us feel very bad. I need to clarify a lot of things. I hope that God will grant me grace to teach it. The book of life, rapture, heaven, the conditions for heaven, and all of that. Because you see, the Bible lets us know clearly that what the Bible calls, what we have called the judgment day, is a season of reward for the saints. The Bible clearly lists those who will be punished, who should be afraid. Why should I be in Christ why should I be walking with God and my life is perpetually a subject of fear? Fear. Those things look nice. You know, sometimes you have to shake people a little bit to get serious with their lives. But it's impossible to serve God that way. There was a time I think there was a propaganda. There have been many about the coming of Christ. And people till today, people still come up with visions. I saw that Jesus Christ is coming in August 24th. And you see people, people sold their houses, land that they would have been rich now. Their children are suffering. Foolish people made stupid business decisions, gave away land. You know, people shaved their head. They were waiting and all, and, and, and all of that. And nothing really happened. God does not teach us to wait for him this way. The Bible already tells us that the coming of Christ will be like the days of Noah. Let me tell you. Let me, I'm sharing with you the dominion mandate. The coming of Christ will not take believers unaware. Did you hear what I said? The coming of Christ, I repeat, will not take believers unaware. Please give me 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. We are reading 1 to 4. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. Is God helping us? We are going to find someone and pray tonight. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. But of the times, please look up. Whether you are inside, outside, I want us to read it together. Okay, I'll read it. I'll tell you where to join. But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write to you. So he's talking to who? Brethren, the church. Is that true? Verse 2. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. Many theologians, well-meaning, stop here. And they keep telling people he's coming like a thief in the night and coming like it. The Bible did not stop here. It was Paul himself who had his revelation, uh, his knowledge of the mystery by revelation. Are we together? Verse 3. For when they shall say, those who are without, when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child and they, 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 they shall not escape. If you're a child of God, read the next verse with all your heart. One, two, give us verse four, please, quickly. One, two, 
read one more time so if that day overtakes you what is the sign that you are in darkness is that true the bible says we are the light of the world is that true it says but ye brethren I'm speaking to you of the times and the seasons and I am telling you that it will be in the similitude of the day of Noah that day look at it it's in your bible I didn't write this that day will not overtake you as a thief why because the spirit of God is in us there is a salt covenant we are joined he that is joined to Christ is one spirit are we together you can never serve God when you live in fear of rapture and fear of heaven and fear of hell growing up there used to be a word that the old folks used to use assurance of not salvation assurance of salvation assurance of admission letter assurance of job that's why every time they give you a job they give you a little paper is a token to prove to you that you are there the bible says god gave us his spirit as a proof as a seal of our redemption as a proof that we are now the begotten of him that he's no longer the firstborn um the only begotten he's now the first begotten of we the brethren are we together now so that God is not ashamed he's not ashamed to call us brethren but has given us the same spirit whereby we cry Abba Father it doesn't mean people don't backslide it doesn't mean people don't derail but I want you to know this there is a way we have been teaching. I'm showing you the things that have occupied us so that we do not focus on the dominion mandate. 80% of the church is occupied by just preparing themselves for rapture. And I'm not against books. I know that there are books that have been written. There are encounters. Am I boring you? This is a foundation. Because several of us are living in fear. You don't even know what to believe. You are afraid. You are sitting, you are standing and you are wondering. And they tell you if God comes and just when you are, you know, maybe shouting at somebody, that's the end of it. If he comes to meet you shouting. You see that? And so we walk in all kinds of fear. Even when we go before God. There is no confidence in approaching him. I believe in repentance. You know me. I always balance things. It's foolishness that makes people to just swing the other side and don't coordinate it. There are spiritual coordinates that guide our dispensing of the truth. When you swing things in either side and they are not regulated by the word, it will still lead to error. I believe in repentance. The Bible says if we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves. But if we confess our sins, God is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. There were two men hanging on the cross. Two of them were thieves, true or false. A thief is somebody who stole something and they caught him. Those ones now. Is that true? They were hanging on the cross. And one was quarreling Jesus. Look, Jesus, you are this and nice of you to help us kill these people and let's escape and go and you see, there was no repentance in his heart. The other person turned and said, Ah, this guy is undeserving. We deserve this thing. And Jesus looked at him and said, This day you will be with me in paradise. This day. Why? For believing me. For believing me. For believing my innocence. Whatever gave you that revelation must be sponsored by the Spirit of God. Because no man can say Jesus is Lord except by the Spirit. To say Jesus is Lord does not mean J-E-S-U-S-I-S-L-O-R-D. No, that's not it. The Lordship of Jesus is declared by revelation. Our announcing it is simply a product of, it's not the reason. No. That's why the Bible says in Acts chapter 10, while they yet, Peter yet spake, the Holy Ghost fell on them. There are so many things in my spirit we have to free ourselves 
The average Christian that we see walking around does not exactly know what he should do for God. Even what we, when we talk about purpose, most people think purpose is just for graduates. You are a graduate, your purpose is whatever you studied, do something with it, get married, train your children and give some money to the church and God will help you. That is a fruitless life. It truly is a fruitless life. The dominion mandate has been corrupted by an exaggerated fear of hellfire, fear of heaven, fear of rapture. And there are books that keep coming. Every time you go online and just Google it, some of you, oh, I had a dream. In that dream, I saw rapture. It may not be a lie. The impact of revelations can cause you to be biased if the Holy Spirit does not balance you. You can be caught up in an event and see the rapture happen and the catastrophe that happened and if God does not give you balance you can return back to earth and start harassing everybody brother be prepared I'm late for work I'm telling you that Jesus is coming and you know and all and will make people feel guilty and pastors sometimes we are gullible because there are members that bully us I want to come and teach a series I had a seven days revelation about rapture I need to come and teach people and they come and stand and at the end of that teaching you wonder whether God is really love there are those who have seen every pastor in hell listen to my message revelation uh, what was it called reality of heaven and hell there are people who have seen Satan found out that this is a very useful tool. So those who started having these experiences, Satan can appear as an angel of light. Are we learning? He now began to open people through experiences. It is true that they left it. It is true that they were somewhere. It is true that they saw tears, similitudes, and they returned back to destroy people. Let me tell you something. This issue of rapture and heaven and hell has caused more fear and uncertainty to the extent that pastors who love God and have served in the vineyard for years cannot stand today. If I say it right now, if you know you are going to heaven, don't stand up. But if I say stand up, some of you will just stand up so that you are not embarrassed. So that if somebody will say, we are praying together, you mean you don't even know where you are going. You are not my friend again. But the truth is many people don't know. For many people, this is our theology. Let's just keep watching. The day the trumpet sounds, if I make it glory to be to, be to Jesus. No. So we preoccupy our minds and never do anything. Are we together? We never do anything. It has made many fathers irresponsible in the name of being evangelists or missionaries. Ah, I need, there's an urgency in my spirit. I need to preach the gospel. Jesus can come, you know, any day, any time. Honey, there is no food. That's not the issue. Let's just pay the price. God knows when he comes, he will reward us. And the wife is saying, what are you saying? There's no food in the house. Nothing is happening. And at the end of it, the man will run and leave them and call the woman a witch. Call the children he gave birth to the five children witches. Leave the children to roam around like prostitutes and say, I'm going to the mission field. And then an unbeliever will meet them and train them and convert them. You see what is happening all around? Islam is the fastest growing religion in Europe. There has never been any stadium-like crusade with any evangelism. But you are using an aberration of the dominion mandate. Occupy structures, systems, everywhere until I come. Listen, brothers and sisters. If we do not get this straight, we are going to live very useless lives. The most heat of this tragedy is the north. Northern Christians are the most dominion mandate non-compliant. You know why? Because the Christianity we received in the north was purely evangelical. Are we together? And which was correct. But I'm saying that the imbalance there is that because of the urgency of things like persecution and so on and so forth people now were indoctrinated into not being serious with things like their lives 
their families it's in the north you can see one man with five six children staying in a small room and he tells you look what is the use of building a house I saw a vision and I know that when Jesus comes, call me Banzane. You hear them say it. And they, they threaten your visionary attitude. Oh, I want to build a house. I want to do this. All those things are useless. When the other motto, when the buy the motto, yes, you also call me Banzane. And then we say those things. They look very nice. They look appealing. And they are responsible for the pain that many families the pain that many churches the pain and the decadence that happens in the society nobody takes responsibility over anything because we are saying after all jesus is coming the concept of jesus is coming is not a concept that should stimulate indiscipline and unseriousness jesus is coming should ginger us to occupy that he comes to meet us as a uh, as a faithful servant this mistake was adumbrated in matthew 25 he gave unto one five talent he gave unto one two he gave unto the other one the one with one talent is doing what we are doing i know he's coming soon there's no need wasting my time when will i go and do business with this morning and he buried it when jesus came he was prepared waiting for his arrival whereas the rest were there trying to bring interest for the master are we together now and then when he came he now said you you are a hard man you have been threatening me i can't wait to give you this your coin carry this your nonsense and leave what did jesus call him wicked one two unprofitable servant and those who spend their time multiplying it listen to what he told them he said well done good and faithful servant one of the synoptics says i appoint to you kingdoms that's the reward Are we together? Jesus is coming soon. Should never threaten the dominion mandate. The consciousness of rapture should never threaten the dominion mandate. The consciousness of hell should never threaten the dominion mandate. The dominion mandate is not an antichrist mandate. Hey, look at me, church. The dominion mandate is not a mandate for ambitious people. Most people preach that the, the dominion mandate is for Pentecostals. So whenever we are talking about advancing the kingdom, they look at great people like our fathers, Bishop Oedeko and the rest, and say these people are just carnal. All they are thinking about is university. Jesus is coming soon. All they are thinking about is empowering people, prosperity all this money money thing and you see bloggers writing in ignorance we made that mistake and now we are about losing almost all our missionary secondary schools because the missionaries that came and other orthodox ministries like catholic equa you know and all of that they built schools is that true they built hospitals that, that was a, a mindset of the dominion mandate Adv they permeated lands because of the medical aid they could bring to people so although they did not like their gospel they still gave them land and gave them space today we are losing this and there are no good schools again you cannot trust a school where your child will be trained properly the mission schools no longer have money and support you know why because those to support them said no we are closer to rapture there is no need supporting you let us just wait jesus is coming many of us here are already having that mindset it must change tonight being rapture compliant is not running away from responsibility and sitting down to say oh let me make sure i don't talk no he comes to meet you like that he calls you an unprofitable servant are we blessed we are going to pray i wish i had time we will continue next week the gift of righteousness righteousness like kenyon would say um, would define he calls it the ability to stand in the father's presence without a sense of inferiority and condemnation as i've learned about righteousness i found out is deeper than that revelation is progressive you know that kenyon died long ago are we together if kenyon were still alive he would have upgraded a lot of things righteousness is not just the ability to stand before the father righteousness is the very nature of god god's nature are we together not just doing right 
God's nature, his rightness before the Father is what was imparted upon us. Listen, there is nobody who is qualified to execute the dominion mandate if you do not carry the righteousness of God. The Bible calls us now the righteousness of God. That's why he calls it a gift. Everybody say it is a gift. Say it again, it's a gift. Now every gift God gives you, you use those gifts to produce fruits. Read the Bible. Gifts go with fruits. Gifts, fruits. Gifts, fruits. The gift of the Spirit. The fruit of the Spirit. The gift of the Spirit is God's benevolence to you. The fruit of the Spirit is a product of your own alignment. It is your own participation in the equation. There is the gift of righteousness. There is the fruit of righteousness. The outworkings of righteousness. Hallelujah. Listen. The first thing any believer needs is to possess the gift of righteousness. It is only the gift of righteousness that authorizes the Holy Spirit to come upon you. Listen. You cannot have the Holy Spirit without the gift of righteousness. It's impossible. There are progressions. The first thing that must happen to a man to be able to reign in life is to be born of a woman you have to be born of a woman that's what authorizes you to wear a body the second thing that must happen to you is rebirth regeneration from the word regime please make sure you're writing this down the first thing that must happen to you is your natural birth everyone born of a woman comes with the nature of the first adam the fallen nature the nature of the first Adam is the nature that is corrupted is the nature that is called sin sin is not just something you do sin is a nature that comes to every man he say in sin did my mother conceive me the true concept of sin is not the things that are done the true concept of sin is a nature that is inherent in you that compels you to be a slave to it and then execute a lot of things so the first thing that must happen to any man is birth. The second is rebirth. 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 What is rebirth? An impartation of the nature and the image of Christ in that man. Hallelujah. These are realities of redemption that we must know in order to execute the dominion mandate. The Bible says this. Let me tell you what the Bible says. We are rounding up. Give, give me, please give me First Peter chapter 1 verse 23. I think 22, 23. First Peter chapter 1, 22, 23. Um, I'm looking for one. I'm, I'm sure it's one of those verses. First Peter. Being born again. Being born again. Everybody listen. This born again thing is a big deal. Being born again. Not of corruptible seed. But of incorruptible. By the word of God which liveth and abided forever being born again or being saved as we call it is not just some oh god oh god i give you my heart i give you my heart i am your child i am your child amen amen and they say congratulations you are now a child of god take a little hamper a little tape in it and a little biscuit and you are no 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 that, that's not it at all being born again is a supernatural event listen that's why you must make sure everyone around you has that experience it is the condition to fulfill the dominion mandate the bible says that only those who have received the gift of righteousness and then the abundance of grace shall by that one man that mediator of the new covenant jesus himself the foundation of our work in the kingdom the foundation of the restructuring for the dominion mandate starts with jesus the pattern man the portrait jesus himself the bible says looking up to him he is the epicenter of this dominion mandate he is the epicenter of the entire life of the believer whenever we talk kingdom whenever we talk of anything the epicenter of what we call the faith life now is jesus you begin to trace your compass from him whenever you draw any bearing outside of the christ that whatever it is that you are constructing is already in error christ is the standard we start with him 
and we begin to navigate our path through this kingdom life it starts in christ that's why the bible says the first qualification is a regeneration comes from the word regene because every man born of a woman is carrying a spiritual gene of the first adam the fallen nature you do not have to commit any physical sin anyone who is not a possessor of righteousness cannot be in heaven cannot be in heaven the only not exception to this that i've seen from bible are babies why because their wills have not been developed for them to make a choice that's why there are no babies in hell whoever has a vision with babies in hell did not go to hell he went somewhere else are we together now yes the gift of righteousness do you have that gift it's a gift it's a gift pastor i give you a gift as with any gift it must be received that is a gift you receive it you can receive it this is the foundation i give it to you you receive it i give you can reject it that's what the bible says as many as received him gave he them the power to become to become to become the power to become so when you receive him the power to become is given to you they that are possessors so when you have received christ by faith truly in your heart you can dare to say together with all the saints that i am part of the brethren i have a right to call abba father i have a right to call abba father he is not just your father he is not just the god of joshua selman that's a different dimension he is now our father that's why paul can say about the family in heaven and on earth we are now one big family under the same lord under the same faith under the same baptism paul was teaching there is one lord there is one faith there is one baptism we have been immersed into the same experience the foundation please hear me is not impartation impartation cannot give you the gift of righteousness healing cannot give you the gift of righteousness teaching all the principles that i teach you on success and all of that as important as they are they cannot give you the gift of righteousness the gift of righteousness is freely given the custodian the authorized entity that can guarantee its release to you is jesus the christ his office is exclusively responsible for handling eternal life handling the gift of righteousness the holy spirit is only an enforcer he comes with respect in honor to your believing jesus you don't believe the holy spirit and receive the gift of righteousness no you don't believe the father and receive the gift of righteousness the same way it is not the vc signature that is on your admission letter it is the registrar but it's not the highest authority it is his office is that true so the office of the christ is responsible for allocating this when you stand and believe his report that message the reward for believing it is that the christ authorizes the spirit of god to come to you so when you come out for an altar call you don't know how supernatural what it is you are doing you don't feel anything physically you stand and heaven is watching the sun is watching lord jesus i believe in this i believe in that and while you are saying it jesus vets the sincerity of your confession and on grounds of that truth the spirit of god comes into your life representing eternal life and in that instant whether you feel clean or not the bible tells us like joshua the high priest in zechariah that that gift of righteousness is given to you the gift of righteousness is your past is your qualification it opens you up to the potentials of manifesting this dominion mandate the other dimension we'll look at is in subsequent series the abundance of grace abundance on grace another word is grace upon grace because there is saving grace that is a seed given to you as god's benevolence but it does not stop there that grace is nurtured 
through knowledge and understanding grace and peace be multiplied grace and peace becomes abundant as you access knowledge so in other words there are two things that you must possess the gift of righteousness and access to knowledge access to knowledge that grants you the privilege to be able to reign God is counting on us to fulfill this mandate God is counting on us when that rebirth happens to us as believers what then is the next step the next step after rebirth is discipleship write the word down we have abused that word discipleship discipleship is the way believers are trained to reign discipleship is the way believers are trained to reign discipleship is not an induction into a denomination's code of operation discipleship is not an induction into a denomination's belief system discipleship is the system where believers are trained to reign what is happening right now in koinonia is discipleship the word has become so ugly most people don't even want to hear it because for many people discipleship means under some kind of stringent religious system submitting under all sorts of things no we need discipleship it is God's system where ordinary believers are now trained on the matters of the kingdom trained to understand the precepts of, of the kingdom and this is why God gave apostles this is why God gave prophets. Listen, this is why God gave evangelists. Are you seeing where we now come into the equation? We were never there from beginning. The apostolic ministry, the prophetic ministry as we know it now, is not an eternal ministry. They are not eternal. No. Jesus is not in heaven today just as our apostle. No. When he sat upon that throne, we still call him the apostle of our faith. But his ministry now number one is lord number two is an as an intercessor the bible says he makes intercession for the saints even if i prophesy the bible says it will end is that true even prophecies will end even tongues will end so a day will come when god will look at us and say pastor alpha come well done good and faithful servant i put you over destiny makers international and you walked with them you did a great job i see the devils that you casted i see the sick bodies you have done well well done enter into the rest there is a new assignment that is going to be given to you a day will come god will look at me and say apostle oh joshua selma he won't call me apostle <laughs> whatever he calls me he's right <laughs> hallelujah and then he will congratulate me and say well done for the labor they laughed at you but you continued you served and when they are doing it some of you who laughed at me will be watching that will be such a gallant ceremony this is what will happen in heaven and while that handshake is going on well done good and faithful servant we are smiling in glory and rejoicing we have conquered life we occupied well till he came and he says because of the TV station you people set up we have here in the record in heaven over 1 billion souls came because of this television ministry ah. surrounded by your glory what will my heart feel will I dance for you Jesus you know that song I can only imagine some of you let me tell you what will happen in heaven you will stand you are happy you got there but you will be ashamed i hope you know there's shame in heaven oh yes go and read your bible there is you stand no souls no partnership no blessing you gossiped and said everything the gift of righteousness brought you to heaven well done and there are, you will see men who were slaughtered like animals men who they did all kinds of things you will see them there age 33 standing there happy because 33 is the standard right and you will see them stand 
and the Matthias crown will be put on them all kinds of people and you will stand there no crown no applause because you just said Jesus is coming the, the old hymn we used to sing only remembered for what we have done remember that hymn yes we must train believers to reign we don't train believers to become our church members pastors you don't train believers so that I can get church members. This member consciousness is destroying God's dominion mandate. God's idea is not to have a pile of weak people looking at a superhuman human being called Apostle Joshua Selman. And every Sunday, the man of God is here. God's idea is that he uses men called gifts to prepare the believers to reign. Are we together? The next dimension after reigning is called governance. God begins to apportion dimensions, apportions mountains, spheres of influence that represents his desire. And the people you have now trained and are still training are now allowed to begin to occupy these dimensions. This is God's idea. Being a church member for 10 years and not doing anything for God no soul winning no building institutions that advance the agenda of God is a total waste of time that may be religion that may be Christianity in court but that's not kingdom hallelujah we're going to pray our time is up I gave this illustration to help you understand that when he said have dominion the idea is not outshining people the idea is understanding that the gift of righteousness alongside the abundance of grace that is supplied on the strength of knowledge access to the mysteries of the kingdom access to the systems of god empower you to now begin to occupy occupy does not mean build a house for yourself occupy does not mean buy a jeep listen carefully occupy does not mean um um carry all kinds of Gucci designers, Louis Vuitton, and all of those things are only the fringe benefits. Are we together? They are to be able to create an ample condition for you to be effective. So you don't rejoice and say, look, I am enjoying. Why? Look at my house. Look at five cars. Look at ten shoes. Look at trips abroad. And you put them like crowns. Whoever talks like that does not know God and does not understand the dominion mandate. So my pride and your pride is not in our cars. Have the cars, but that's not the pride. The pride is not that you are now wearing a hair of 250,000. That is useless if it did not help you advance the kingdom. Your pride is that God gave me money and I walked the systems of the kingdom because I understood I would be a kingdom financier and I used that money I sponsored a TV station that now created a platform for people to receive Jesus for people to rise for people to be built I built a university that was able to empower people they were agents of national transformation at the same time addicts for God I was able to raise a school of ministry that mentored and guided people and they became firebrand apostles and pastors this is kingdom check what you celebrate there are things that are worth celebrating pat you at the back but that is not it doesn't make any sense in the spirit i have 10 estates nonsense truly speaking i have 30 shoes nonsense if i don't balance this many of us are on the way to destruction because this is what we call christianity we come and jump around and say my faith is working why i have 30 suits look at my picture with the owner of so 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 and so oil company and you gather them around and live your entire life while you are old you just say you know i lived a successful life that's a wasted life a life of purpose and a life of meaning is a life that contributes to fulfilling the dominion mandate what is it take charge what is it expose creation to who i am and what i am and i've taught you that the dominion mandate is twofold one establishing christ in the hearts of men 
you must establish Christ in the hearts of men that's why soul winning is non-negotiable please hear me if you are a Christian and you are not winning souls God is not happy with your efficiency there is something wrong winning souls is not for preachers winning souls is your contribution to giving more space for people to know him love him and to extend his influence the bible says in the multitude of men is a king's honor the more and more we find people who love jesus and surrender their hearts to him and the more we can permeate our environment with the ideology we'll talk about that next week of the kingdom we are fulfilling the dominion mandate now that you are born again apostle i don't know what to do return back to the dominion mandate now that you have received the the gift of righteousness contend for the abundance of grace how does it come grace and peace comes through knowledge multiplication through knowledge access it takes a long time the bible says you don't just reign with grace that grace must be lavish it must be in abundance that means you must be a bank of knowledge you must be a bank of understanding you must be a compendium of kingdom mysteries and on the strength of those mysteries you reign are we together one time jesus prayed for someone who was blind and the bible says in this case he spat on the ground and then made sputum out of it and put it in his eyes and said go wash at the pool called Siloam that is sent now that was the action if that man turned and started praising God and danced there for one day he would never be open he the eyes would not be open he was taking action but the action was not the one required are we together now Mary understood this and said whatever he tells you to do do not whatever you think he wants to be done so it is important that you find out what is the system of this partnership as far as this is concerned i want multiplication i want increase is it a possibility in god yes it is now i believe it but what is the system tied what does god require that a man do as a symbol of his partnership with him to actualize that dimension of reality we must find out so when we search scripture we are not just trying to know we are finding our place of partnership in scripture when you find it then you rejoice because you have found the key to committing god this that action is what we call faith and the bible says it is the victory that overcomes hmm. the victory that overcomes so what is the key to your healing the bible says they came to hear and to be healed there is no healing when the word does not come for that and when the word of god comes the power of god is present to heal and then the word comes but when the word comes it does not heal you automatically the word comes and somewhere along the line it produces conviction after conviction the word will compel obedience either through an instruction or whatever it is there are conditions for reception when you come for a meeting like this there is a condition to receive number one is to believe in the lord number two is to believe the vessel he will use believing the lord alone will not give you a miracle no sir it will always come from god through men to you are we together jesus went to certain cities and the bible says he could not do mighty works that was not the limitation of his power it was not the limitation of his spirit but the inaccurate understanding of the people to create an alignment that can afford him to move in the dimension that they desire tonight listen ladies and gentlemen god did not gather us here to waste our time it is within his power to change our lives it is within his power to wipe our tears are we together now seated here tonight are people who truly truly require all kinds of miracles there are people here to resuscitate their spiritual life it's like it's like it's like a man in icu a lot has gone haywire the prayer life spiritual life and you're trusting god that there be a true encounter that refires your love for god you must understand the object of your desire and you must understand the system that helps you achieve that miracle 
there are people here tonight in response to delay and stagnation nothing seems to work nothing it is a bit comforting if other doors open and others are closed it will inspire you to trust that others but it's a terrible thing when all doors in your life close family closed finances closed your body everything closed there are people here because of an acute state of limitation invisible barriers around your life limitation is not retardation limitation is that a a mark has been created that you cannot cross so you rise and you get to a certain place and there is something that pegs you at that level and you never rise i watch it all the time pastors leaders business people individuals helplessly limited sincere but they are limited tonight the god i serve will take that limit away There are people here with sicknesses diseases infirmities real sicknesses probably with death sentences from different medical hospitals and um maybe they've told you you have a few months to live you have a few weeks to live now and of course we have a lot of doctors here i respect their opinion that's their opinion is their educated opinion but tonight, whose report will you believe? I believe in Jesus. I believe in his words. There are people here with all kinds of marital and family issues. Husband is about to go. Wife is about to go. Children are haywire. And they are trusting lord would you give us order of course it is within his power to bring sanity and order i mentioned these things to build your faith to help you know that your situation is within the scope of god's understanding and he can deal with it because sometimes we stay so long in the decadence of our situations that we wonder if god is aware that such a thing can happen to men let me tell you the god we serve is all knowing all knowing and it is within his power to solve that problem tonight there are people here with all kinds of barrenness all kinds biological barrenness and all sorts of unfruitfulness in different areas probably trusting god for children and all of that i came back from abuja um in the course of the week and um when i went there i was i was counseling a few people and then i saw a young lady i think a, a couple or so i can't remember exactly and they were excited the last time i was there the woman the lady had been they'd been trusting god for a child all kinds of funny medical reports you know she had something in her womb her tubes i don't know what what they gave all kinds of stories and there she had given birth you know to a very bouncing healthy a child and she was telling me the news and laughing listen be careful what you believe it is within your power to choose what you believe nothing forces itself on you you can choose this is a wonderful thing this is a fact but i choose to reject it it's a choice anything that is not consistent with the counsel of god it is within your power to choose to reject it are we together there are people here under all kinds of academic and career challenges no job no lifting all kinds of strange occurrences that are not consistent with god's desire how about demonic patterns mysterious occurrences in the lives of people patterns that you cannot account for god wants to step in there are people here and I believe this probably affects a lot of people, especially with the recession. The reality of lack and poverty. Lord, what is the way out? Lord, what is the way out? I can't keep struggling from hand to mouth. We've shared extensively. There are all kinds of teachings about the economic system of the kingdom. And I would plead that you get those teachings. They are free. Because when it comes to prosperity, the gospel has to be taught. There is an understanding that must be built in your mind. Now God can give you breakthrough as a communication of his might and mercy. 
but you are never established financially through breakthrough it will take an understanding to build a system that lifts you out of the realm and the grip of poverty forever say amen, amen. there are people here trusting god for direction you have come confused not knowing what to do you thought you had god but right now you are in the middle of total confusion and god must speak for you i want to welcome you because in his presence there is direction and finally all of these are lists that the spirit of god was just writing out for me as i i mean just stating out as i i i wrote them out and lastly there are people here trusting god for very strong impartations what is an impartation a transference of possibilities transference of possibilities impartation is as real as the chair you're sitting on you can transfer possibilities possibilities also come with the alignment that makes those dimensions of the anointing function freely transference of possibilities see the thing with the anointing is if it is there it is there if it is not there it is not there it's as simple as that if you are not sure it is not there it's like a woman who is pregnant for a while she may doubt if she's pregnant or not but the time comes it becomes very clear very obvious regardless of where your request falls in this I want you to know that the God of heaven who has gathered us tonight will visit you and give you testimonies it's going to be a very quick walk tonight the Lord is going to be healing the sick the Lord is going to be setting the captives free and like I told us last week it is also an anointing service and I don't I don't do anointing services carelessly but there are instructions that God gave me the anointing oil that will be used tonight the Lord asked me it's been with me since uh, I think yesterday I prayed with it all through until um, it was only this morning while I was coming that I carried it and brought it there is a heavy grace oil does not anoint the oil has to be anointed itself by a, a vessel who is anointed nothing is anointed on its own it has to be anointed to become a platform are we together now tonight what is your responsibility be convicted be persuaded that God is able all that has happened before now the prayers the testimonies and all of that is to build your faith some of you are coming here for the first time you've heard about the miracles many of you have a cynical attitude of doubting men of God everybody you see walking in unusual dimensions of the anointing we have joined naysayers around town to think everybody is fake everybody is a devil everybody is using charm you know I humorously said it last week uh, even if you use charm the condition to carry the kind of power you see even through a charm is a condition that you have to think twice people just say it as if you just collect a charm and put it in your pocket no sir God gave gifts to men the gifts are not talents the gifts are people he anointed people by his predeterminate counsel so that they can be platforms to be able to communicate his possibilities to people i'm honored every time i have the opportunity to minister there are people streaming from all over the world with different issues several nations at least 47 or so nations of the world if i'm not mistaken connecting and god cannot be joking he's not playing games with us are we together everybody say i believe say lord tonight i believe you i know you are able and i trust you to step in in the name of jesus it will be for you like day and night just all of a sudden you will find out that that door that has been closed maybe forever listen it doesn't take time time is not in the equation i've taught you this time is never in the equation the anointing of the spirit is not a suggestion the anointing of the spirit is god's possibility at work in men that causes men to manifest results they were not born with are we together now we are talking about a dimension that is superior to any intelligence of men this is not some kind of superior science this is not superior spiritism we are talking of god showing up in the scene standing face to face with a man's barrier hallelujah i want you to be angry tonight and insist thank you and say lord that door must be open 
I was so touched and blessed during the prayer session. Have you experienced the reality of triumph? I mean, there are people here who, whose testimonies have been tearsome. Tonight, you can activate something that will make your six to eight hours spent here to be worth the while that you get up in the morning and within three days one door opens another door opens another dimension of encounter all of a sudden hunger all of a sudden you step back to your church and fire on the altar i mean just by stepping and people are rising up from wheelchairs and miracles signs and wonders you bless people you shake someone's hand and all through that day a door opens you introduce something i believe it i believe it the lord wants to turn you to literally be supernatural supernatural not just in this blind talk of supernatural that does not produce results literally that your life becomes a testament that they would look at you like they did Paul and Barnabas and they called them Zeus and Hermes, Greek gods because they, they discerned that this level of result cannot happen with men. Listen, believe it. Believe it, brothers and sisters. Yokes are breakable. Causes are destroyable. Limitations are breakable. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Sicknesses are healable anointings are impartable there is nothing that you desire don't make it look as though god is mising his power no he is able to stretch his hands and do mighty things but you must believe tonight we love ourselves but everybody is going to have to stand and contend and say lord i have seen a dimension of your grace but i must step into it lord i have seen a dimension of breakthrough and favor but it's not yet a reality in my life. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome, you overcome. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be you over. You are the victor's crown. Hold on. You overcome. You know why I started singing that song? I saw a crown. That's why I started singing it. Listen, you see, the way the Spirit of God works is that He reveals the dimension of God that He wants to make manifest in the midst of the people. Are we together now? That's why I raised that song. You need to learn how to partner with the supernatural. He shows you like a luring. This is the dimension. It's up to you to respond. Yeah, Lord, we receive the spirit and the bride telling the word to come. The word has revealed his intention. So the spirit communicates to the bride. And the bride in partnership with the spirit says, come. Come, Lord Jesus. Come, miracles. Come, breakthroughs. Come, deliverances. Come open doors, come speed, come speed, loose chains, loose bands. God is a mighty God. Do not allow your situations diminish the power of God. It doesn't take time. The level of grace it takes to produce your results is available. Mm. It's available. I've taught you that there are three dimensions for reception in the spirit. Number one is through encounters. When you have an encounter, something is deposited into you. Number two, by obedience to principles. There is a dimension of God's power that is deposited in principles. Whether a believer or a non-believer, whoever activates those principles, that dimension of his power is released immediately. Like the power of seed time and harvest is not for Christians. A dimension of God's power was encapsulated in that principle. But the third dimension of reception is alignment through a man's covenant with God. Men have covenant with God, not old and new. Their dealings with God have brought them to a point where God has vowed a vow on their behalf and you can stand upon the platform of their dealings with God and receive realities that your faith level cannot afford. Every high thing must come down. 
every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. You overcome. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. You overcome. Let me tell you something that happened yesterday. I didn't plan to share it, but, but something happened. I was sleeping and I had a dream. I thought it was a dream. Yesterday now. While I was sleeping, I had a dream. And then because I had kept the jar of oil and I opened the cover. And then I had a dream. Now, you know, I don't share so much of my encounters because there are all kinds of cynical people. And I had the, a dream. And then the Lord was telling me, you know, I should how I'm going to pray on the oil that later on we use to minister to you and then something strange happened I just opened my eyes and there was an angel standing at the door my door now now those those experiences are not strange to me you know but this was very unique he stood there and I looked and oil started coming out of my hand and the Lord says I should put my hand on this jar this jar and I tell you I was surprised it would almost be maybe the quarter the size of a cup i just put my hand there and i was just praying in the spirit that was the instruction that god gave me gave me that instruction that's why i told you oil does not anoint there is an encounter there is an encounter are we together now there is an encounter and when it began to happen i was i was i was well i wasn't surprised but then when everything was done the angel never even said anything just at my door just stood there and was watching and when it was time i noticed of course my hands were still wet but it didn't seem to be flowing and that was it whether he went through the door went up i don't even know how he left and that was the end of it right from the time you know my boys that come to work for me i started sensing that there were going to be visitations of the spirit and i was hurrying up to dismiss them as soon as they left i just locked the door and i sat down and boom my room was full of god's presence and all of that and, and i i when i sat down my eyes were open and all of a sudden i saw gates gates opening like gates very strange gates opening but then I knew that God by that vision was telling me what among other things would happen in the meeting but most importantly what the anointing would do listen ladies and gentlemen the Lord will bring breakthroughs in your life today that will surprise you you believe that rise up on your feet I want you to lift up your voice and pray one minute. You say, Father, I'm set for your visitation. My faith is alive and I believe you. Lift your voice and pray. My faith is alive. I believe you. Jabrandos katapra katalados. Enkreto katalabrande sekate pra katalabadash. Jabrete kate proskodo brandi gedibalash. Jabrandes kariada balada balada bosh. Lord, we receive. We receive. Hallelujah. We are going to be very fast. Tonight is a vigil. I know that, in fact, you can't believe how far time has gone. But I trust God for grace tonight. I want to see how God will grant me grace. And I'll be able to come out to all the overflows. All the overflows one two three by the grace of God and he will grant us grace in the name of Jesus Christ 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 please bring the three people now that the power of God comes I'm seeing an angel walking and touching three people in here all inside here now will you open up the gate yeah. open up the door
Will you open up the gate? Open up the door. Open up the gate. Karato Sodo Braska da Valia da Kata. Open up the gate. Abranda Kata Sodo Bosco la Varia da Kata. Open up the door. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. I'm going to pray for breakthrough now. Such a strange grace. Strange grace. Strange grace. There are people here who have been tied. It's time to release that grace for breakthrough. And I want you to bring them out. Please don't stop playing. Please, guys, we know she's on this. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare. Right now, at the count of three, let that breakthrough anointing right now begin to touch and change the lives of people. One, two, three. Take that breakthrough now. Take that breakthrough now. Bring them out. Shapatakata. Step into that dimension. Take it, take it, take it, folks. Right at the back. I see the angels of the Lord bringing people into strange levels of breakthrough. Breakthrough. Shapatos kelataria. Mente kotos shotos. E prekete kaya. No limitation. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Breakthroughs. 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 By the power of the Holy Ghost, breakthroughs. Shapos katala tosia, embrekete ketos, shakato setash. Never be the same. Never be the same. Lift your hands. I see a key hanging in the realm of the spirit. This is access. There are men right now. You are entering into dimensions of possibilities. your hands at the count of three I want you to shout Jesus this is a baptism keys that's what I'm seeing I'm seeing a bunch of keys Lord Jesus for your glory let the closed door open at the count of three one two three the name that is above all names access in the realm of the spirit I command access right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Access to dimensions, access to levels, access to possibilities. Closed doors opening. The Lord showed me gates. And I decree those gates are opening. Opening, opening. Opening in the name of Jesus. Those gates are opening. No power stands against you tonight. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. I decree and declare the opening of strange gates. The opening of strange gates. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going to do a quick walk. Please clear this way for me. There are two angels that stand before me now. My left and my right. And the Lord is asking me to pass around and come. I will do that very quickly. As I do that, the Lord is going to be breaking chains. And taking away limitations. In the name of Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Miracles. 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 By the power of the Holy Ghost. Supernatural miracles, take them out in the name of Jesus. Sheba Kato Soto Pacaratos, Shebres Kete Kata, Lembre Kete Kato Soto Bash. Miracles in the name of Jesus. Miracles, 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 miracles by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Miracles in the name of Jesus. Supernatural miracles. I release you now. I release you now. 
I release you now. I release you now. Step into anointings. Step into graces. In the name of Jesus Christ. By the spirit of the living God. There are chains I'm seeing on people's hands. Chains, 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 break it now. Chains, break it now. Chains, break it now. Get ready, this road, I see chains, 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 chains. Let it break now. Let it break now in the name of Jesus. Let it break now, now, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let it break now in the name of Jesus. Supernatural miracles, chains, breaking in the name of Jesus chains breaking in the name of Jesus chains breaking in the name of Jesus chains breaking chains breaking chains breaking chains breaking 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 shadow so touch kalai rakataka let it break now the Lord is asking me to stretch my hands here. I stretch my hands right now. Every chain in the name of Jesus. This is a miracle service. I command that the chains are broken. Broken, broken, broken. Broken now. Broken now. In the name of Jesus. Broken, you can't stand it. That chain breaks now. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost. By the anointing of the Holy by the anointing of the Holy Ghost 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 I'm seeing the hand of the Lord a wind of his spirit coming here Lord what is happening here in the name of Jesus I'm Brataya. I'm seeing someone being taken out of a pit, out of a pit, out of a pit. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, out of a pit, I proclaim it. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, and I decree and declare. I decree and declare captivity ended. In the name of Jesus. Make up a gotosh, leke tekata, prakato zotosh. I'm seeing a ring in someone's finger. That demonic ring leaves now. That demonic ring leaves now. I see it by the spirit. That demonic ring leaves now. I curse it by the God of heaven. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. I see rings. Rings. I curse it by the God of heaven. I curse it in the name of Jesus. Ataparatoshi. In the Karato Kotoba, Shekretoski Labaya, in Preketo Koshubreke. Can I go out? Rata Karoto Shubreke Deka. Those outside, I want you to get ready. There is an anointing. There is an anointing. The Lord is saying, I should stretch my hands here. This media place, in the name of Jesus. Barato Shesesika, Ekreto Sopraka, Maleketo Shekreskaya. Those here, I want you to lift your hands. No matter where you are, no matter where you are, I want you to believe. As soon as I pass here, no matter what the issue is, the hand of God is about to touch you. Thank you, Jesus. Right now, let there be miracles. Now, I pass this rose. Let there be miracles. Every strange spirit. Now be gone, be gone, be gone now in the name of Jesus. Be gone now. Every strange spirit, the Lord Jesus is in this place. The Lord Jesus is in this place. I stretch my hands now. Over, 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 over by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Over now in the name of Jesus. Now, now, now in the name of Jesus. I stretch my hands. I decree and declare. I decree and declare. Stand up. Stand up in the name of Jesus. Hold the baby. Now, out of her. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command that devil. Madam, look at me. The Lord is bringing you breakthrough now. I'm seeing you crying, and the Lord is saying, in your tears. I'm coming to you. 
I know you are far, but I will come to you. I stretch my hands now. In the name of Jesus, the anointing is touching some people here. I'm still like chains broken. Chains broken. Let it break right now. In the name of Jesus, out of him. Yes, I'll speak in this young man. Be God now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, out. Now. Out now. Out now. Out now. Be gone. In the name of Jesus. Be gone. In the name of Jesus. Be gone. In the name of Jesus. Look at me, my dear. The Lord is saying I should tell you that your sins are over. Over. In the name of Jesus. Over. Now. In the name of Jesus. Say no matter where you are, no matter how far, I want you to connect by faith. Look at me. Delay over your family ends now. Ends now in the name of Jesus Christ. Clear and declare by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. There is a spirit in this. Now. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's someone here. I'm seeing an angel of the Lord standing. There's someone here God wants to now declare. Where is that person? I cause that spirit now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me come to this tent overflow now. Lift your hands, all of you. Lift your hands, all of you. Lift your hands. Now, listen. The Lord is giving me an instruction. All of you are, I don't know what overflow is this. Four now. Three. Overflow. Three. At the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus. Something is going to happen right to the back. I'm seeing fire. One, two, three. Now, 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 now. Cause those spirits. I release breakthroughs now in this overflow. In the name of Jesus. To the back. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. I'm seeing several of you inside pit. Now, now. Come now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Shabra no Subrach. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who is Ezekiel? Ezekiel. I'm hearing a name, Ezekiel. Ezekiel. Hold on, be careful. Please be careful. Ezekiel. Hallelujah. Ezekiel. There is something God is touching you. The first four rows inside, inside the main building, first four rows. There's someone right now. The power of God is touching. First four rows inside. Lord, thank you. Let let that person be touched now. Now, first four rows inside. God is bringing deliverance. Where is Ezekiel? Who is Ibo? You are the Ibo. Come. Where are you from? Huh? Okay. Anambra State. I want to pray for you. You believe that the Lord is going to. I see a lot of witchcraft in your family. And the Lord wants to set you free. Please, those of you outside, I don't, don't think because you are outside, came out to show you that God is serious about your case. Don't think because you are standing, it means you are missing. No. Wherever you are, God can locate you. Are we together now? Salome, Salome, who is Salome? Someone outside here, Salome. I'm standing close to you, Salome. Come, stand here. In the name of Jesus, I set you free and I set your family free right now. In the name of Jesus, hold on. It's two guys, lift your hands. Two of you. An anointing is coming on two of you now. Lift your hands. These two gentlemen pray. Father, let them take of that anointing now. Drink of that grace. Drink of that fire. Step into a new dimension now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You are Salome. In the name of Jesus. Zonkua. Who is from Zonkua here? Zonkua or something. I'm hearing the Lord is asking me. We have a lot to do. We are going to be very fast because we'll soon pray for the sick now. Zonkua. Hallelujah. Please, don't, don't make this place rowdy. Where are you from? Hold on. 
don't don't cry don't cry are you sisters you are sisters there is a spirit of death in your family come what why are you crying it's well things are not going everything is scattered okay look at me look at me two of you shout jesus as loud as you can one to go that's the end of it lord i set them free help them under the anointing Please, there is somebody, the spirit of the Lord is ministering to me. I don't know what God is people outside. There is somebody around here want to prophesy to the person. Bring the person. That's the person. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm, I'm seeing a snake. God. My God. I'm seeing a, not, not this person. I'm seeing a snake. And the Lord is saying, even the lawful captives. That's what the Spirit of God is ministering to me. Please lift your hands, those of you here. Someone has got to be free. I'm Lord, that person right now. I pray in the name of Jesus. Let the hand of God come upon that person right now. That person has to be free. Has to. Has to be free. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, here it is, it's coming now. I see like light coming on someone right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I set you free now by the power of the Holy Spirit. I set you free. I'm ministering to people. Out now. Is there a name like that? Kauna. Is it Kauna or Kauna? Please to very fast. Kauna. Who is that? I'm, I'm going to this overflow now. Kauna. Is there someone like that? Please, I want you to open your mouth and say, Lord, I receive the breakthrough you are bringing. Lift your voice and begin to speak it. I receive it. I receive it. Oga, okay, come. What do you do? Huh? Where? Do you do business? Why? I want to pray for you because I'm seeing God empowering you in business. Do you have an elder sister? I'm seeing a lady. This is a lady looking just like you. I'm going to pray for you in the name of Jesus. I took out time because of the massive deliverance that will happen here now, this very room. I'm walking here. Please hear me. There are mothers who what is going to happen to your children is going to come from your standing here now. So please release your faith. I want to pray. I want to pray for you. It ends. It's over now. In the name of Jesus, it's over by the power of the Holy Spirit. I'll walk into the front and then I'll come down. Jesus. Jesus. I'm going to start from the front there. Please just allow me to do my thing. Let's just do it very fast because we're going to pray for the sick. All these people lying shortly. I'm going to ask all of you to sit down. There anybody on a wheelchair or on a your stand up right now. When I ask you to stand, you will stand up and take away whatever you came with. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hold on. Um my God, I'm going to pass and there is nothing special about me. It's just a communication, a channel for the Lord to touch you. Come. Um, the man. What is you are holding? The Lord is saying, what are you looking for? You are looking for a job. Huh? And the Lord is saying, I should release a job to your life. You believe that? Receive your job now. In the name of Jesus Christ, lift your hands. Father, I pray, Spirit of the living God, that you will blow upon this place. As I pass this place, let no yoke, let no chain stand. In the name of Jesus. Them now, in the name of Jesus, I bring you life by the power of the Spirit. The life of the life of God by the power of the Spirit. Lives life right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Every darkness leaves. Every trace of darkness leaves. Leaves, leaves, leaves. 
leaves, leaves now, leaves now, 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 leaves now in the name of Jesus Christ. Every trace of darkness must go now. In the name of Jesus Christ, must go now by the power of the Holy Ghost. It must go now. It must go now. Someone with pile is being healed now. Somewhere here. Someone with pile is being healed now. Someone with pile, you're going to feel like fire going through your body. We'll pray for the sick shortly. Be healed now. Fire is on your head. Be healed now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing a yoke of delay here. This row. Somebody, somebody has to be free now. In the name of Jesus Christ, let that delay be broken by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let that delay be broken by the power of the Holy Ghost. It's to a new level. In the name of Jesus, the Lord is renewing, renewing, renewing. I hear renewal. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm standing in this row because the angel of the Lord is standing here. And he wants to touch somebody right now. In the name of Jesus, let it be over. Let it be over by the power of the Holy Ghost. Right now, Shate Sekotas Kalapratia Embrekete. Please help them, my God. Shembrakatos Koto Pradisha La Pariata Kata Ekros Ketepo Shabre Neketala Legreto Shekras Kada Barata Pash Embreketia. My sister, you are praying and I'm hearing your prayer. Come, you are telling the Lord to visit you. I'm hearing your prayers in my ears, and the Lord is saying I should. That he should give you a visitation. Who is this? My children. This is your husband? Yes, sir. Where is he? He's in Berlin. I want to pray for you. I don't like what I see. Right? The Lord is going to set them free because I've seen everything is tied down for this family. Nothing is working. Yes, sir. Is that true? The Lord is going to step in now. At those states. Edo State. I'm from Edo State. What the Spirit of God is showing me. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'm praying for you. Please. Father, let there be a miracle right now. I end it now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I end it right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. My God. Now, see this thing the Lord shows me all the time. Please, everybody lift your hands inside or outside. Lift your hands now. I'm seeing a map. I don't know why God always shows me this. I'm seeing a map and the spirit of the Lord through that map is taking me to Benway State. Now everyone from Benway State, get ready. The anointing of God comes upon you now. Benway State. Benway State. The Lord is setting people free. Benway State right now. Shekratos, Kalatos. Inside and outside. Benway State. Benway State. Inside, outside. Benway State. I see breakthroughs coming. Benway State anointings Mata Lakota is a sign and a wonder that the Lord does where he locates people by state locates people by state I'm praying now if you're in Benway State this unction is on you the work is on you inside my God I'm seeing people inside inside main auditorium breakthroughs 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 I'm hearing or to go or to go Breakthroughs, strange breakthroughs, strange breakthroughs, or to go, Shakato Sekete, Egreto Shalabariata, Embrakato Shataya Lakosata. Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There are miracles in the name of Jesus. There are breakthroughs in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Jacob. Jacob. Jacob, you're, I'm standing close to you. and Your name is Jacob. Lift your hands. It's over now. Forever. Over. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the, there's somebody praying in this room. The power of God is coming on him now. Someone is praying a prayer. In the name of Jesus, you are stepping into a level. The spirit of wisdom is coming upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Is it Asabe? 
Asabe, I'm hearing the name Asabe. Quickly, I want to see how God will grant us grace. This evening, there are so many sick people we have to pray for. Asabe, is it Asabe? I'm hearing Asabe. In the name of Jesus Christ. Look at me, my dear. Look at my eyes. My eyes. Look at my eyes. Break every chain. Break every chain. Visit our family, oh God, once and for all. Let this be the season. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Who is from Enugu State? Enugu State. Hold on, hold on. Please don't fight yourselves. Madam, where are you from? I'm from Eni. Enugu State. I'm going to pray for you. Choma. What? Choma. 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 I'm hearing a name, Choma. We're going to pray. Choma. You are inside. The Choma at the main auditorium. Choma, where are you? Give Jesus praise. I'm going to pray for you. Your name is Choma. What's your name? Choma. Your name is Choma. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord is set family free right now because this is one of your prayer requests. I'm looking at your prayer request in a vision. What did you say the Lord should? I'm seeing your prayer request on top of you and I'm seeing that you're writing that God should bring breakthrough for your family. He will. He will. He will. We're talking about the spirit of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, let it be over. My brother, stand up. Look at me. Your relationship with the Lord Jesus. Look at me. You love Jesus? I'm seeing your legs tied and I'm seeing snake of your legs down to your head. Your relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ is where this will start from. Be free now. Out! In the name of Jesus, help him. In the name of Jesus Christ. Where did you come from, my dear? You are from Isuka. In the name of Jesus Christ, hold my hands. Let it be over now. By the power of the Holy Spirit, let it be over now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing that map again. The Lord shows me Southern Kaduna. Southern Kaduna now. The power of God is looking to Southern Kaduna. Southern Kaduna inside and outside. You are from Southern Kaduna. I'm seeing the map of Kaduna State. And the Lord is touching people from that state right now. There are several people inside, ushers, different people. The Lord is touching people, Southern Kaduna. Miracles, miracles. I'm seeing like a, a, the cover. The cover of a well being opened in the name of Jesus. Let it be by the Spirit of the Living God. By the Spirit of the Living God. By the Spirit of the Living God. Let it end now. I stretch my hands to you. Let it end. Captivity must end in the name of Jesus Christ. Captivity must end now. Captivity must end. Captivity must end. Shada sete karotash. Embrekete shala pradosa subriada. Shala prende keto prasada banana ba. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm hearing Italy. Italy, a country, Italy. Who has a relative in Italy? You come. There is power. Please quickly. Who do you have in Italy? My elder sister. Where is she? She's in Italy. Have you heard from her? No, it has been long. There's a, there's a problem. I'm seeing that lady is in a serious problem. She needs a miracle. Did we discuss this with you? Yes, she discussed it with my mom. I'm saying, did I discuss it with you? No, sir. She's in Italy. There is a serious problem. Huh? I'm seeing deportation. We have to pray for her. There is a serious issue. Not only deportation, but she's about to get into trouble. The Lord brings this thing so that he will set you free. Huh? In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. That's what I was waiting for. In Jesus' name. There's somebody in front among the people lying down there. Um, I'm seeing the Lord touching their family. Lord, in the name of Jesus, let there be a miracle.
those of you coming for the first time this is what happens in the miracle service is is these are not just miracles they are called signs and wonders they are operations of the spirit you can see me call a state and everybody on that, that state is under the influence of the spirit it's not so magic these are operations these are superior dimensions of the operation of the spirit of the living god i want to pray for the lady in italy in the name of jesus christ let there be a miracle right now a miracle right now something is leaving you even you who is standing this has caused delay in your life the lord is about to give you speed in the name of jesus christ supernatural speed the lord ends captivity in your life let it end now captivity is ending by the spirit and the power of god captivity is ending hallelujah there is somebody inside here i'm seeing a vision you are a, you are a professional footballer come out something has tied you down it's time for you to move up who is that you're a footballer that's why you came here who is that break every chain break every chain Break every chain, break every chain. Lord Jesus, we honor you. Leave her. I want to pray for her. Something is happening. That's why I'm standing. at me Lord Jesus let this oppression over her family end in the name of Jesus Christ the same thing happening to her is happening to someone right at the back in the name of Jesus you play football oh this is your brother from where somebody cheated you we have to pray for you huh where do you want to travel to? I want to go to Europe. Huh? Europe. But you know that God has to take you to a clean way. Huh? If you want to smuggle your way and go to Europe, the devil would go and hijack your life and destroy you and they will throw you back. Do you understand? Because I see God lifting you in this career. The Lord is taking you very, very far. You believe that? Hold my hands. Lord Jesus. I bring him into this place in the name of Jesus Christ. Let it be for you. You see, prophecy does not just reveal, prophecy creates. We make things that have no business happening to happen. Are we together now? In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare that the road is clear for you now by the power of the Holy Spirit. By the power of the Holy Spirit. By the power of the Holy Spirit. The the Holy Spirit. Seven months pregnant. There's a woman I need to pray for. Seven months pregnant. Seven months pregnant. Come. You're pregnant. How many months? Seven months. The Lord is telling me to take away CS. Hold my hands. Jesus. When are you due? Next month. September. You are due September. When? Do you know? You don't know. Anything from September 19th, get ready. Huh? In the name of Jesus, I hold you and I declare, I stop CS now by the power of the Holy Spirit. There is a problem with this baby, as I'm seeing. Is that true? Yes. I told you. This baby is not lying correctly and it's affecting you. If we don't pray, something will happen and you give birth to a dead baby. We correct it now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I lay my hands upon you. I bring the life of Christ to you. In the name of Jesus, you will give birth normally by the Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. We are going to pray for the sick now, but uh, who is this? You are pregnant? How many months? Seven months. Yes, sir. Have you gone to the hospital? Where is your husband? He's at home, sir. Husbands, husbands, they send their wives and stay back at home. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Put your hand on your stomach.
God is going to give you a dream about the name of this child. Receive grace to name the child exactly what you see. Huh? Father, in the name of Jesus, let it be. In the name of Jesus, let it be by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Let it be by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Let it be by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. We'll soon pray for the sick, but I want to do something. Look at me. This lady. Out of her now. I release the life of Jesus Christ and I curse the works of darkness in the name of Jesus Christ 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 in the name of Jesus Christ, name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing fire it's like it's looking for someone in this room this is something that has to do with someone's family in the name of Jesus Christ just this role because I'm seeing the Lord is revealing to me in the name of Jesus thank you father the power of God will come upon whoever that person is and that will end it right now end it right now family God is touching the families in the name of Jesus it is not by power it's not by might it's by the Spirit of God it's not by power in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord is showing me someone's prayer request. Prayer point number one. Let my sister have a child. Who is that? Prayer point number one. You are wearing red. Break every chain. Break every chain. I hope you are not telling lies. What was your first prayer request? Let my sister and my brother have a baby. Where are they? They are in their various places. Your sister, how long has she been married? Going to three. Did she have a child before? No, but my brother has. Did she take in before? No. This person is wearing red. I will pray for you, but I'm seeing somebody wearing red. This is the person in the vision the Lord is showing me. Who is that? This is the person I saw, but I will pray with you. Listen, I want you to believe that no barren person, there is no need to go back without a child. It's, it's, there is not necessary. Hold on, I'm not just praying for barren people at random, but just let them come since they're here. We'll pray for people. We're about to pray for people now. We'll take our time to minister. The anointing is there. You see that even the vigils, sometimes you close your eyes and it's already morning. Praise the Lord. My friend, you love Jesus? Kai! Please don't be embarrassed. I want to pray for somebody now. I'm seeing you standing and I want to pray. I know I always pray, but this guy smokes. Uh, um, what they call that thing. But I know people smoke all kinds of things. But this guy, your own is acute. You are here. But truthfully speaking, you cannot help. You can take as much of that thing till it destroys you. I'm even seeing that you have some i don't know whether it's at home please who is that don't be embarrassed the lord wants to set you free if you sit down that's your that's that's for you. whether you are inside outside make your way don't be ashamed just come out here i want to pray for you now my dear i want you to call where are they who, who are you standing in for Ladi Abuti. Huh? Ladi Abuti. you no, you're the, my sister. your sister okay i want to pray the person i'm talking about please summon the courage to stand here i want to pray for you I want you to call her after this meeting and tell her to get ready. God is going to give her a baby boy. Huh? In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you because your power is available to set the captives free. I decree and declare. Let it be right now. Establish it in Jesus' name. It's over now. You are the one who came. Come. We have to pray. Your brother, you said they are barren. I'm not seeing your brother barren. Yeah, he has two children. How, how many two children? Hold one. on, let me talk to you. How many children? The first one was a miscarriage. Miscarriage? How many children are there now? The second one died like two weeks after. I'm seeing two children that is not a miscarriage. They were born, but they died. Two, two children. Now it's, there's no child at all. 
the one they had died like weeks or so. How many weeks? Two weeks after birth. And one day, and he just died. We have to pray. You understand? You, you're standing in for them and you believe God will help them. We have to pray. As you're praying for them, it will never be part of your life. You have no business with that thing. Somebody needs to come out. This wee wee thing. Who is the person? Let's celebrate him. Don't, don't feel bad. <laughs> Hallelujah. He's your friend. He's your brother. He smokes this thing. He smokes... Uh, Huh? Do you love Jesus? You love Jesus? Yes, sir. I have to pray for him. My friend, how are you? Can you hear me? Uh, I can hear you. I have to pray for him. You see, the same thing the anointing, when you smoke this thing and when you are under the influence of the anointing, it's exactly what happens when you smoke these leaves, you see. Those leaves. There is a lady come and join him i'm seeing a lady don't be embarrassed please jesus is setting you free there is a lady you can't help yourself this is not the issue of being good or bad please run boldly and come if you waste our time you just sit where you are one lady there is a lady this thing has destroyed it's not like you like it but you can't help it it comes upon you like an anointing and you have to come my dear let's pray we have to pray for the sick now in the name of Jesus Christ, I agree with you. I terminate the yoke of barrenness right now. Sister and brother, in the name of Jesus, they take him now. You're here for the same reason? You're here for the same reason? In the name of Jesus. You're standing for yourself? Your sister. If I ask for people who have who want children, except you are standing for somebody, if you are standing for yourself, make sure you, are, you have a husband or a wife. Praise God. We, we are Bible believers, but we are not stupid people. Make sure you are married officially. Because I know that there are people who just live together. Um, you, don't, you don't love God and then we have to stay. Of course, God is merciful. The Spirit of God is not letting me rest over the lady that we are going to pray for. In the name of Jesus, let there be miracles. We are a family. Nobody looks down and embarrasses. There is no condemnation here whatsoever. We are here to help. We are here to show you the mercies of God. Hold my hands, my dear. This is a lady? Ah, no, this is not how. The person I'm talking about is here in this venue. You are here. You are not asleep. You are awake. You are hearing what I'm saying. This lady is... You understand? Barrenness. Okay. Father, in the name of Jesus, touch them. In the name of Jesus, touch them. Hold on. Don't worry. We are going to pray for the sick. Who is this? Why are you here, madam? Please just be patient. Why is she here? If it's not the case I mentioned, um, can I pray for you, my friend? You are the one who brought him. Where is he from? He's, he's from, he's from, from Benway State, sir. Eh? He's from Benway State. He's from Benway State. See how the guy is staring at me? If he has his way, he can eat and swallow me as if it's easy. Between you and me, it's a long distance. It's not what you are seeing. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very long distance stretch your hands and let's pray for this guy he's a nice person this this is what we we and co can do let's pray let's pray my friend don't worry we are praying for you eh? it's not just you stretch your hands saints of god you are anointed let's pray for him lord help this gentleman please i still insist this lady if god grants you grace in the name of jesus christ i pray for you we love you and in the name of jesus we pray for you sincerely by the compassion of the Christ, we pray for you that the power of this, this substance abuse is broken in your life. In the name of Jesus. Who is Rebecca? Rebecca. 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 I have to talk to that person quickly and then we will pray for the sick. You can't imagine how the time is gone. We are still going to anoint. It's already morning. Rebecca. Is there anyone? Huh? Sister. Your sister. I'll pray for you, but what's your name? What's your name? Rebecca. My dear. 
Come. Who is this? Rebecca. The lady that smokes this thing. This thing has depressed this lady and changed her. That's why I want to pray for you. What's your name? Rukaya. 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 Come. I love you. Eh? Come. You're a darling. We're not, we're not here to make you feel bad at all. Listen, let me tell you something. Huh? One of the keys to walking in the anointing is love. You don't love people, you will never walk in authentic power. When God reveals to you things about people's lives, it's not because you are better than them. Are we together now? The goal of this revelation is to extend the hand of God's love. This is a wonderful lady. You can see very lovely, beautiful lady that the devil wants to destroy. So every time words come like this or when we pray for people, this is a family of faith where everybody is a product of God's mercy and grace. Are we together, darling? I, I know that you may not like some of them. It may not even be bad friends. They just got into all of these things. And let me tell you, maturity does not deliver people from spirits. You can be growing older and still remain. You believe the Lord Jesus will help you? Hmm? Thank you. You've tried to stop this thing, Abby? Yes. And you try and it won't work? Yes. Problems keep coming up that I just can't stop. What do you take? I smoke, I take drugs, I drink. You drink? Yes. Ah. Please stretch your hands over this lady. Pray as if you are praying for your own daughter. Pray as if you are praying for your own child. Lord, have mercy on this dear lady. We refuse to leave her to the devil. We love her. Pray, some of you are looking at me. Pray with all your heart. Lord, help this lady. Usually people take these things as a result of depression, all kinds of challenges, their lack of understanding the word of God, their lack of encounter with the word of God is what produces this kind of devilish effect. Hallelujah. Look at me, my dear. You are my friend, eh? Don't cry. You are my friend from today. God will help you, eh? Say amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, eh? Pastor Alpha, please, eh? You will follow this lady. Just help her to stand strong. Some of these ladies, it's just a combination of loneliness and then they meet all kinds of bad people. By the way, when, when it's time to do the final prayer, we're going to pray against these bad people around our community whose lives is to frustrate and destroy people. There are many ladies here, you want to love God and, and live for Him. But there are all these boys around that make it look like serving God is a waste of time. And they keep distracting you and before you know it, in the name of love, in the name of relationship, and, and in the name of wanting to marry you, they derail you from the path of God. Anybody who must make you leave God to marry you is not an irresponsible person. That prayer has already been answered. The answer is no. Leave the person quickly. Don't say I'm waiting on God. God is not a fool. Are we together? So go and meet Pastor Alpha. He will help you. Eh? He will collect your details. and your Rebecca, all of you, three of you, I cannot even remember why I asked you to come out, but let me pray for you. You are standing in for your sister. You love Jesus. Friends, eh? You love Jesus, but be careful so that, um, you know, your company matters as much as your work with God. The Lord will help you. Huh? In Jesus' name. Over now in your life. Hold my hands. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord is setting her free. I'm seeing something leaving her. In the name of Jesus Lord, let her be free from it. That devil of darkness lets you go. Rebecca, the Lord is bringing you liberty in the name of Jesus. It's over now by the power of the Holy Spirit. I have to pray for you. In the name of Jesus, this favor is lifted from your life forever. In Jesus' name. Two of you are Rebecca. Your name. In the name of Jesus Christ, I agree with you. In the name of Jesus, I agree with you. Now, what's that your song? Gashina, Gamuna, Sir King Aljana. 
Testimonies here is a revelation that God gave us and an instruction. And my God, what a joy to life. Stretch your hands in the name of Jesus Christ. Jabratos Kalabrende Geva Sarabakuria Takatash. Jabratos Sobredi Shikarata. Stretch your hands in the name of Jesus. Mandala Kapratos Katafridish Kalabrania Kata. Unto you that answers prayers shall all flesh come. Are you praying? Father, we agree. We agree for miracles. We agree for we agree for wonders. Pray. We receive miracles. We receive signs. We receive wonders. In the name of Jesus. Lord, release miracles to families. Release signs, wonders. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let impossible situations come under the influence of your spirit. Makotopa shabradaka sode barato sesianakosh. Agrata gabarato go jobrende ge de balato siada kata. Shapra kaparako to sobrigedia. Rabadagada balada ko so sobriada balada bosh. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we decree and declare, agree with me. Right now, let every impossible situation turn into a miracle right now. Lord, this is a representation of the cries and the desires of your people scattered around this place and many across the nations of the world. Lord, we agree that you are a miracle worker and we decree and declare that these requests are turned into testimonies in the name of Jesus. We decree that these requests are turned into testimonies in the name of Jesus. We decree that these requests are turned into testimonies in the name of Jesus. We decree that these requests are turned into testimonies in the name of Jesus. We decree that these requests are turned into testimonies in the name of Jesus. Visit the barren, heal the sick, deliver the oppressed, wipe the tears of your people. By the power of your word, let there be miracles. We release miracles, 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 miracles in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you. We thank you. We call it done in the name of Jesus Christ. We call it done in the name of Jesus Christ. We call it done in the name of Jesus Christ. Name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now we're getting to the last phase. We are going to pray on this. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something about this oil you are seeing. It's, it's truly an oil of wonder. I spent uh, the night praying. No oil in itself is anointed. Please be careful. Don't hurt her. Don't. Ah, uh, hold on. <laughs> they are wondering what to do with her. My dear, be comfortable, okay? this your case is a very straightforward demonic case your bones are fine everything is fine you've taken this just relax um if she doesn't feel the strength to stand don't force her but you can just guide her who brought her how did she come you carried her can you carry her are you that strong this is night vigilo okay take her gradually you try to walk to where well while they are carrying you Please, when you keep our exercise, there's no reason. Oh dear, 
there's no reason why this lady should go back crippled honestly speaking it's not that her bones are broken just all these demonic things so i was talking about this oil um there is a ritual when people begin to idolize things oil water handkerchiefs aprons um, um, stickers banners they lose the life in it religion is a very terrible thing it's important you do things according to the word of god and as directed by the holy spirit last week was an anointing service for favor and um, we're going to name this one now and then we'll pour it and then we'll have um, our anoint these guys and then we'll do it very quickly whilst we are doing that please the moment you come touch the anointing oil on your head please and please we'll make it very fast you can see that it's already five o'clock it's almost as if um, it was not a vigil <laughs> praise god father we give you all the praise i lift up this jar of oil and in the name of jesus christ we call it an oil of breakthrough say amen we decree and declare let this oil be a symbol of supernatural breakthrough the supernatural oil that came from my hands that was added to this i pray that the mystery of breakthrough that this represents as it comes upon you let there be strange signs and wonders in the name of jesus let this provoke angelic visitations in the name of jesus christ and let this cause the holy spirit to move in your life in a mighty way the bible says the spirit of the lord is upon me and the reason why he's upon me is because i was anointed in the name of jesus may the anointing attract dimensions of the operations of the spirit in the name of jesus we dedicate this i command this oil to lose its earthly significance and to take on the significance of a mystery in the realm of the spirit representing breakthrough at the same time let this be an oil of judgment in the name of jesus christ let this be an oil of judgment by the power of the holy spirit god's ability god's ability is working in me hallelujah we have to say it. father in the name of jesus i thank you i'm anointing you so that you will stand and as i lay my hands i pray that this grace of breakthrough and favor will start from you first i want you to believe it this is an oil that will bring supernatural breakthrough in your own life supernatural grace supernatural grace supernatural grace the anointing of the holy ghost in fresh dimensions in the name of jesus that grace that anointing that grace that anointing that grace that anointing in the name of jesus christ okay so you can give it to them father we decree and declare this is an oil of supernatural breakthrough i can always add please quickly station yourselves we are going to be praying all through as soon as as soon as the oil touches you please i want you to begin to pray worship team you give us uh, okay just play the instruments we'll just begin to pray in the spirit everyone praying in the spirit as the oil comes upon you begin to declare speak forth release your faith lord we decree and declare right now let miracles begin let signs and wonders and breakthroughs begin in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus you can stand here okay thank you jesus go ahead as soon as you touch the oil begin to prophesy in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare the word of the lord becomes my testimony the oil is anointed Monday, brother, scalabre, the chevre, the secato, brother, catapalada, but please quickly, quickly, quickly make sure everyone is anointed. Make sure everyone is anointed, young, old. Zambra di casso di briada balada bosch. Madi brasa zize anacosada cross calabar. Please keep standing, everybody. It's morning already. I want to make an altar call quickly. Our time is up. It's just two minutes to six.
please keep standing no moving around inside outside there are people here you have seen the power of god you have seen the grace of god and you're saying apostle if you will pray for me i'm ready to hand my life over to god like the dear lady who came out um and many other people i know that it is morning but it should not rob you the greatest miracle literally and truthfully is an encounter with the lord jesus christ wherever you are you are inside you are outside any of the overflows online you are following and you are saying man of god i want you to pray with me and at the same time there are people you have given your heart to the lord but things happen around your life your life went haywire and you need you're saying I, I cannot go back the way i came i want to have this restoration this encounter i'm rededicating my life to jesus wherever you are please we have just two minutes for you inside outside please clear the way for them make sure you don't discourage them let's appreciate them as they come wherever you are god bless you make your way to the front are you appreciating them they are coming please run run quickly inside outside if you're coming i want you to run god bless you god bless you clap hands for them they are coming god bless you koinonia is this the best you can do keep coming don't let anyone stop you if you are joining them please come quickly clear the way for them overflow one two three and then the fourth one those online connect with us i'm about to lead them a very special prayer very special prayer thank you so much ladies and gentlemen i want you to lift your right hand and pray this after me sincerely from your heart say after me lord jesus i believe in you that you are the son of god tonight come join them quickly tonight you're coming from outside quickly 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 join them join them let's be very fast let's be very fast quickly Say after me, all of you standing here, say, Lord Jesus, I believe in you, that you are the Son of God. I ask you to cleanse me, forgive my sins. I believe you, you were raised from the dead, and now you are alive. I receive eternal life into my spirit. And I declare by the authority of scripture that I'm a child of God. I decree and declare that the grace to live a victorious life is given to me right now. I go forward ever and backward never in the name of Jesus. Keep your hands lifted. Jesus, we present to you the ones you died for. And we decree and declare that this will begin the beginning of a great journey in their lives. I, I declare that your sins are forgiven. I command that the power of sin, the power of flesh, the power of Satan is broken over your life. In the name of Jesus, you go from glory to glory. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Now very quickly, I want you, there's a gentleman waving his hands. I want you to follow him quickly. They welcome you more warmly on our behalf and communicate a few details to you. God bless you. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.